I love it. I was not expecting that music. <laughs> I told you there was a new intro. I guess I forgot. Oops. Clearly. Do we like do we like the intro music? Yeah, I right. like it. I like it's, it a lot. I think I like it. It's vibey. <laughs> Very vibey. You can actually find the exact link to this song now available in the description below because we have to put it there. Welcome. <laughs> we actually have to. Hola. Hola y bienvenidos a The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality and you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy, I say something gay. Gay. And I am actually drinking coffee, even though it is the afternoon. I really shouldn't be drinking this, uh, but I do have a very long night of work ahead of me. So get it done. <laughs> But if I was drinking my coffee in a slightly smaller mug, um, it absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, would be my cup mug. Um, Logan, could you pass me your cup mug? I oh, don't you, seem to have. But, but yes, of course, Lana. Here you go. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Oh. No, we're gonna try. We're trying it again. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, wait, Here, oh. Lana. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, we're both. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. I'll no. Cup mug. <laughs> I still have it. <laughs> and you can get yours at lanagcreations.etsy.com. Uh, we do ship internationally, so there are no excuses. We're looking at you, Mexico. Again. 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 That was much louder than I expected it to be. <laughs> They're also loud. Cup mugs are loud. So. Loud. Loud. <laughs> Oli, oli, oli. Hello, everybody. I am Lana, your resident diva. I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, drink the tea, because you know I love me some tea. Purr. And if you have some tea, you know to hit me up. I just am drinking water because it's here. So there we go. Water. And I have nothing else to say because we talked about the cup mug already. Right. <laughs> well, I am David Healy, and I don't have a cute intro, but I do have a cute shirt. A cute shirt that I was hoping to wear on my Drag Race Mexico coverage, but it didn't come in time. But you know what? It works out perfectly for this because I'm wearing my Margaret Ia, my Mago shirt, and I love it. And Never change your makeup, Margaret. Never change it. It's perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yep. And I am drinking. Hey, Lana, can you hand me your water? Sure. Hold on. It's down. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. There you go. You can't see it. You got to show me it as you oh, put oh. it down. Uh, yeah. There oh, we go. go. There, there go. we go. There you go. Yep. It's filled to the same spot <laughs> and same brand. <laughs> Yes, we're both drinking water and we're sharing it because we're married. Yeah. And watch who cares. Who cares? Doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> Posting going to be very confused. But, <laughs> 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 but who okay, smile. But it's okay. It's all right. We're very much. But y'all, what are here. we doing here? We're what? Wait, because wait, what are we doing here? Because I thought once we finished Drag Race Mexico. We were done with Mexico for a while, and apparently, no, the people have spoken. Yeah, they demanded it. They demanded they it. Y'all kind of did want. Y'all kind of wanted this. We're very happy to be here talking about episode one of La Mastraga season six. Yeah, the yeah. sixth sense. The sixth sense of it all. Drink every time they said the sixth <laughs> sense, <laughs> baby. A lot. Ooh. A lot. But I was just like, so let, let me just start off saying this for the top, and I'm going to talk speak for the panel in this moment when I say this. This is a brand new experience for all of us. None of us have watched a single season of La Masa Draga before. <laughs> not, not a single season or episode or any, not a clip. clip. Nope. Nothing. I have seen. Clips. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> well that's uh, looking. Look I've never seen a clip or anything. David is, is with me. We've never seen a clip. Logan's seen clips, but we have no idea 
what the format of this show is, how it plays out. And you know what? I'm kind of glad about it that everybody is as clueless of to what is going on except me. Yeah. And that and it just makes this, this journey a lot more exciting in my eyes. I feel like we can all watch and learn and enjoy it together and just have no no preconceived notions of how it should be or what it yeah. should do or what what what's coming next. We don't know. And this is where we're going to lean on you guys, our audience, a lot because we might get a lot of stuff wrong. <laughs> We might get a lot of stuff wrong because we don't know how the format works and plays out. But I'm so excited to cover because this episode blew my mind. Blew yeah. my mind. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. I thought we have not seen this level of production value ever from mm -hmm. Drag Race. And I I have been wanting to watch La Mas for a while. Um, I had been told by several many people to watch it. And then I finally did. And I'm like, ah, I see why everyone wanted me to watch this. Because it's amazing. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was, I was the first one to rip off the Band-Aid among the three of us and watch the episode. It was a few days ago. And we have a little group chat. And I kept like... Being like, oh my gosh, my mind is blown, guys. This is so good. You all have to watch this soon. And they eventually were like, shut up. Don't say anything. We're going to watch. <laughs> I was like, we're going to watch. I said, it was funny because they were like, y'all need to watch. Y'all need to watch. And we're like, okay, we'll watch. And then he continues to live tweet about <laughs> what's happened. I'm like, do you want me to watch? Or you just go, tell me what happened. I was like, I'm so mad at this part. <laughs> I was like, wait, stop. Shush. But yeah, we did watch. I am I I love this. Already I am a fan and can't wait to see where this goes because it's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The one thing I I know it's going to take some getting used to is just the sheer length of the episode. Honestly, yeah. it's yeah. and I love that it's that long because I, I this was like everything I've wanted every other televised drag reality show to be. Honestly, is like I, I want it to be long. I want to feel like I'm leaving this episode knowing a little bit about everybody. And I mean, there were an hour and 45 minutes to do that. And so I, I was really, really thankful that I got as much information and experience from this episode as I did. It just, I took a couple breaks in between and I don't normally take breaks when I watch stuff because mm -hmm. I don't remember things as well. But I was like, I literally, it was an hour in and I was like, I don't think I've left this exact position for the last 45 <laughs> minutes. I need to pause and get up. Yeah. <laughs> like, and no, I, love I don't know about you all, but I had a lot of ads too. <laughs> and it was, it was kind of funny because like, as I started watching the ads at first, they were all like, American ads, they were in English. Were but you the getting all further... the Mexican ads too? Yes. Later <laughs> yeah. by the end, I was like, they're all Spanish. Ads. They're all in Spanish. <laughs> I had a Lucky Charms commercial in Spanish. I love it. I appreciated it because I was like, it keeps me reminding me what I'm doing because exactly. my mind drifts from time yeah. to time. I, and I fall asleep sometimes. And yeah. the ads broke up the the if I'm like chilling and I'm like uh, oh, I was oh. Like, oh, I was like, oh talking, I'm watching. everyone's talking in the next in the next dressing room. Oh ad. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then it's in Spanish. So I'm like, oh I'm watching something different than I'm normally watching. So sure. It's I kind of live for it. I dressed up for it you guys. I dressed up yes. for you. I put a flower in my hand. I mean as we are also newly minted YouTube members, get all that ad revenue you can, Lamas. Period. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of, yes, we uh, we are YouTube members now. Hello. Yay. Hey. Thank you um, all because it's, it's you guys who was watching us, yeah. got us to a thousand, so we're moving on up. Keep sharing moving and liking. Up. Ooh, and subscribing. Man. And subscribing. Keep yes. subscribing. Get your friends to subscribe. Anybody who loves drag, anything. Because we cover, a, I guess, all, almost all the drag things now. We've yeah. crossed over from we did we've done Dragula, but we've crossed over to another new non-drag race thing. Uh, Call me mother was done too. Yeah, Call me mother, and I don't know the her. universe. <laughs> 
I don't yeah, know. Dude. And one other thing for anybody who's just joining us for the first time, there might be a few people that didn't watch our Drag Race Mexico coverage, but I love when people leave comments. Please. I love reading them. I love engaging with them. I love learning things. And we have a lot to learn about this franchise. Yes. yes. So please fill us in any questions and we're going to have a lot of questions. So please give us some answers. We have no idea how this format works. So you can just educate us all you want. We're and pretty we'll be, excited for it. We'll be happily to take yes. all of it. All of it. Yeah. The biggest thing with this is like we, like Lana said, we are all brand new to this. So we are like, I don't know. We don't know necessarily what we're doing. We're just watching the show, enjoying the drama and enjoying the drag. Yeah. And that's how we're going to look at this whole thing. Uh, I have a I have a few things to bring up about like family relationships between people, but like otherwise, there's not a whole lot to say um, as far as like the backstories of anything. Like we are not La Mastraga encyclopedias yet. Emphasis on yet, Ooh. or things to come soon. Um, so if you like the recovering La Mas six, maybe subscribe and hit the bell so maybe you could see us cover la mas uno well, i was gonna or, say or, or go back and what oh. so um with that being said we are going to talk about everything obviously so we are going to talk about their their promo looks which were also kind of the entrance looks which were not really the entrance looks because everyone was out of drag when we started the episode. So we're going to talk about those. We're going to talk about the mini challenge photo shoots because those are separate looks and the mini challenge matters. Yes. Uh, or the, the, fast, the challenge, fast challenge. Is that, the fast challenge. It, they called it both, honestly. At least mm -hmm. based on the, the subtitle. The subtitle was strange. Uh, also, if we've misinterpreted things, I'm going to blame most of it on the subtitles. So not another problem. heads up for for those of y'all. Just tell us where we went wrong and we'll correct yes. it the next time. <laughs> and please be kind about it because again we are learning for the first time. So. Don't be mean to us. <laughs> we can't take it. I'm We're very, nice. I'm very sensitive about this. No. <laughs> uh. <And. laughs> Let's just dive in. We're please. we're being silly. But, we we, are but because we so, enjoy this, we're very excited about this. Very, very excited. So we're going to talk about people, not necessarily in the uh, order that they were introduced to us in, but in order by the promo looks. Um, so we are we wanted to pull the the uh, the big group color promo shots as well. Um, one of the interesting things you can see on this uh, poster is the Echo in Mexico uh, stamp, which a lot of people believe is a direct dig at Drag Race Mexico, and it should be because Drag Race Mexico is not even half of the production value that this was. Hmm. So. Hmm. Well. A great place to start our discussion <laughs> of the promo looks and the queens. It's Kelly Caracas, who in drag goes by Kelly Caracas. <laughs> I love I her. I am so obsessed with her already. Me too. Me I too. I am so beyond thrilled to watch everything she does this season. Um, and she is also currently, um, or she was the first runner-up at Miss Equality World 2022. Ooh. So she is the current first runner-up of Miss Equality World, which is another one of the uh, trans pageant systems from at least the little bit that I've seen. So I love that for her. I do. Yeah. I th She's just a continuation. So we've seen a few different trans uh, contestants competing on shows lately, and they're just bringing it. And Good. once again we have somebody that's like really top tier quality and i'm just loving her representation here i don't know how many trans contestants have been on la mastraga um hopefully there's been plenty uh but she's just somebody that i can see doing very very well 
Uh, yeah, she's got it all. She's great. This look is sickening. Can I just say, this dress is sickening. The hair is sickening. The feathers are sickening. She got a boobies out with some red pasties on it. She's sickening. I I love this look. I just think she looks great. I'm very excited about her. She, I'm, she was one I was like, oh, 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 I like her. I like her already. She didn't even say much. And I was like, I like her. I like her already. I, I don't. Uh, she's she's gorge. She's gorge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. This look, like, there's really not much to say. Um, it almost reminds me, like, two cherries on top of a sundae with her boobs there. Um, this is just a perfect silhouette for her. Yep. Uh, man, she's got such a great body and the feathers. This is, like, everything I'd want from a showgirl. Really great promo look here. You know, I really did not think that I would be pulling this out this early. Oh, I wasn't aware that we were going to start with Kelly. Oh, um, but she did what needed to be done. Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I am obsessed with her. She is also, for context, uh, the drag sister of the current reigning winner of Lamas. Oh, well, don't tell uh, us who it is. I'm not... I wasn't <laughs> planning on it, David. <laughs> I'm not going to say the name of the person. I'm yeah. just oh. trying to tell you the fact. I'm about to say, we don't know that because you you could have said it. Yeah. We would have been like, oh. Well, David didn't let me finish my statement. <laughs> because I didn't want you to say it. Well, I'm going to side with David because it looked like you were about to say it. I was about to be like, oh. We're just gonna spoil it for me and everyone else, but no, you're fine. You're great. I was just taking every precaution needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, if you're unfamiliar with the way that we do things around here, we do give scores for uh, each look. So we are gonna score the promo looks. Uh, there are different levels of scoring, as y'all will definitely experience in this episode. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but we do numerical scores as well as kind of just like feeling scores. And y'all, if you haven't seen it before, we'll learn very quickly the way that we the way that we score. So with that being said, scores for Kelly Galactus. I'm gonna give her a 90. I am gonna give her a drowning cup, honey, because be over drowning, overflowing, just uh, love. She's perfection. Duh. Yep. Duh. That's how it works. Duh. Duh. Like. Duh. Too good. Duh. There's nothing. That, nothing to be said. Ugh. She's sick. Elector Valpurgis. <sighs> We're gonna get names eventually, y'all. But uh, I think it's Valpurgis. Valpurgis, I think. Electra. Electra. I don't I, to be confused with the several many Electras on Drag Race. <laughs> that's why this is not Drag Race. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I love this look as well. I think she kind of ate. Like, I, I'm here for it. All the little pieces sticking out everywhere and Logan oh my god it's pants it's pants it's pants oh my god it's pants <laughs> OMG is pants I didn't realize it was pants oh my god OMG is pants I'm so living for this and yeah I I kind of love it I don't I I kind of love it Mm -hmm. I would say I very much love it. As, as soon as she came out, I was like, ooh, I like her. This is my kind of queen. Very conceptual. And then she started talking. And then I heard the magic words that she's from, the house of black and white. Yes. Ah, that's what and I, I was said. like, okay, there it like, is. Woo! There it is. Uh, period. So, so we are only familiar of the House of Black and White because of Drag Race Mexico. We had Pixie Pixie and Vermelia. 
the two people that we were obsessed with their Instagrams, they are our look girls from Drag Race Mexico. So obviously she's another look girl. And I'm really hoping that there's an emphasis on looks with La Mastraga. I don't know what kind of challenges are coming up or if it's always going to be looks um, that help them get points in the episodes. Uh, but if it's looks, I'm not worried about her. I'm not worried about her ever because yeah. she's going to know how to bring it. She's got sisters who are going to help her out. I really love this. This was probably my favorite of the uh, promo looks, to be honest. So I so I just looked it up because I was curious. So uh, Electra is the drag sibling of Vermelia and one of Pixie Pixie's uh, drag daughters. Okay. Oh. Um, as well as another person who was on uh, Lamas on previous seasons. Well, don't tell us who. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Logan's going to uh, kick me off. He's going to kick you out of here for real. <laughs> Logan's going to leave. Like, you know what? Y'all do it. I don't care. I'm out. <laughs> Can I finish what I was going to say? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> the look is good. That's all. Scores. Oh god. <laughs> Let me give this a 96. My cup is full, period. Full. Period. Braulio. Oh. I yo, so this is a new kind of drag for me. And I am really loving the horror side of drag lately. I just didn't know that this existed for a while. But then everybody was like, well, that's because you don't watch Dracula. But if you watch Dracula, you might know this. And I'm like, well, I didn't know this. But I kind of am liking the different styles, the different genres of drag. And she does it very creepily and gory and good. I am not mad at this. And yeah, I'm not mad at this at all. This th It's funny that they gave her red because that's like perfect to give her the red look and she can go all out and do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. So I like these type of horror looks, they really appeal <laughs> to me and the aesthetic I like in drag. I just, I'm so excited seeing the di diversity of drag representation we're getting here. We don't get this on any other type of show. It's, it's just one category or the other to varying degrees. So I just really, I got excited when I saw uh, this queen come out. Um, the only thing that I did notice is compared to everybody else, we were getting to hear them in their confessionals. And with this queen, it was so like reserved and, and yeah. quiet. And I'm like, okay, we, we might need a little more personality for you because this is a TV show and I hate it. I hate that you have to have a big personality to succeed in these shows. Maybe it's different on this one. I don't know, but it really is a key ingredient. So I hope that, Braulio is able to break out of her box and really show us some some strong personality because I know it's in there. Um, but regardless, I really enjoyed this look. I thought it was creative. I thought it was disturbing in the best way, but still pretty in a way. So I'm very excited about them. Yeah, I I enjoyed this. I I do love horror drag despite not really having a pension for anything else horror um I do. but i i, I feel like lamas is going to be the reason why lana you end up watching dragula because i think if you keep enjoying a lot of the horror drag and a lot of like alternative drag that we're seeing on lamas that's all dragula is and like i'm so not a horror fan but horror drag is just so interesting to me i loved the entire performance 
performance of this look by Braulio that we saw at the beginning of the episode. That's what sold the look for me mm -hmm. overall. Is like the having the like decapitated hand Stuff and like it. and it's just it yeah and yeah. having all of that and the effects to it. Um, the performance of it is just you can tell from only having seen seen that and the main challenge performance mm -hmm. that we saw this evening, you can tell that performance is the biggest part of Braulio's drag, and I love it. Yeah. I'm a really big fan of it. I could um, do more. And again, I don't know how, it, it, I don't know if there have been more alternative or horror um, drag artists on the show. I'm going to go ahead and assume yes, just by the fact that there is such mm -hmm. diversity in this casting. So I feel like probably, um, but I'm just, I'm really excited to see what this format does for a drag artist like Braulia. Yeah, I'm excited. I love it. Scores. I'm going to give Braulio an 88. I'm going to give Braulio a 95. It's absolutely full. That I'm I sure love, that. love that. Love that. Uh, uh, I just want to say first and foremost, really hot out of drag. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh wow. <laughs> For me, honestly, it was Ariel and it was Kelly. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um I hello. <laughs> I think this red group is eating like in the best way possible. They're all eating this up. I I love the hair. Like I just want to throw bean bags through her hair and just something. Just just I don't know. I just want to throw something through the hoop. I don't know. I just I think she looks so good. I love the I think the dress without the big cape would it just be a dress but the cape just makes it so like or the jacket whatever you want to call it looks really good i kind of like it the coat jacket the tool, thingy, the tool mm -hmm. all of that looks great looks phenomenal she looks good i kind of like arrow on this one yeah i do too um i'll say of the ones we've seen so far Maybe her drag seems a little more conventional than the others we've discussed, but that's not a bad thing when you do it this well. Like she's she's doing conventional drag, but at such a high quality that there's hardly anything to critique about it. And I will say every time she kind of popped up throughout the episode, I was writing down notes and all I kept writing was, I'm getting good vibes from her. Very, very good vibes. Like she is somebody who I don't know what winners are like for this show, but if we find out in 11 weeks that Ariel is a winner, I will not at all be surprised because I kind of get winner vibes from her. Um, I'm interested to see how it goes. She was not one of the absolute top people this week, but she still looks stunning and I see so much potential from her. Yeah, this is beautiful. Um, and I don't even like Tool that much, but she made it work. This is incredible. I mean, like, this is, it's so good. The way that it looks, the way that it hugs her shape, the shape that she has in drag also from just the two, I'm, I'm not even going to count the mini challenge thing as a full look because it wasn't a full makeup, full, like, body, whatever. But, like, the shape that she's gotten from the two looks we've really seen so far has just been so good. Her makeup is incredible. Incredible. Mm -hmm. I love the headpiece. I do love the tool coat. I wish the I wish the base of the tool coat was a little bit thicker or bigger. Um, because I know it's there, but it does kind of blend into the base or the trumpet skirt of the dress a little bit. Um, and so I guess if there was if there was like a critique I could make, it would be that, but I don't even necessarily think it's that noticeable or that necessary. Um I really enjoy it. Scores. I am going to give her an 87. I'm going to give her a 93. Let me give her a 96. Yes. 
Alexis Mugler. <sighs> she is interesting. She is interesting. In the best way possible for me. I'm just, I'm, I don't know what to think of her. And I think that's what she wants. I think she doesn't want us to know exactly who she, like, I'm so intrigued by her. It's it's so weird. I love her coat. Like, she's giving me, like, the club kid thing, like David likes to point out a lot. She's giving me that club kid look. But then, I don't think, like, that's her thing. Like, I don't think she's fully club kid. Like, that's not the, I don't know. I don't know about her. And I love that I don't know. And I kind of just want to know more. I think she does great makeup. It's interesting makeup. I want to see what else she does. But I just, I'm kind of liking this. It's not as big, like, draggy, like the other concepts that we've seen earlier. And other people's outfits is like, oh, this is so, I, I'm not, like, floored, floored. But I am liking it a lot which is crazy I don't know she is an anomaly to me and I just want to watch more of her mm -hmm. yeah I agree with a lot of what you're saying um, I love it when a queen has their own distinct style and I'm already seeing it from Alexis um, it's almost like if Gottmik got possessed by a demon um, that's Alexis Mugler. But every drag artist is their own individual Correct. person and doesn't need to be compared to anybody else, nor are we doing that here because we respect everyone on this season of Love Yes. Drag Hence me saying she has her own distinct style. Um, yeah. And then compared I, her to God. <laughs> no. Just well, because of the white, the white face makeup. And then compared her to God, man. Okay. Being possessed, though. But see, well. that's the whole thing. Exactly. It's it's a it's different a, version. It's a of different version that. of comparison. If I had other white face makeup uh, people, then maybe I would have compared it to them. There are group. several that you have um, seen on TV. True. Okay. Well, with all that said, immediately what stood out to me was her in the confessional. She just seems like a, a TV villain. I don't know. I, I wrote down unhinged personality. Oh. And I think the rest of the episode kind of confirmed that. And and I don't mean that in a negative way. Like, I think that there's something very intriguing about who they are as a person um, and who their drag persona is. So I'm really liking it. Stylistically, this is this is very good. It's not my favorite of the ones we've talked about, um, but it, it does leave me wanting to see a lot more. Mm -hmm. This isn't my favorite. Um, I think Alexis is definitely going to be a very interesting personality on this season. Um, I didn't love the character of Alexis that we were presented with on this episode. And it's probably just because she was like enshrouded in all this drama. And I feel like I didn't really get to know her. I got to know her drama, uh, which we'll talk about later. Um, I do absolutely love, though, that all of this drag and drag aesthetic is juxtaposed with the fact that he is a first grade teacher. I kind of love that. And then showing up in a full denim tuxedo and hat, I was like, I need to know who this person is. I'm so intrigued. Um... This look isn't my favorite, and it has to do not with the coat, but with the, the dress underneath. Um, that situation I just find a little basic. Um, but I do love the club kid boot. I, I love the makeup. I, I like the jacket a lot. Um, it's just, it's the it's the base that I just have a bit of a, of a concern with. But that's about it. So, of course. It's going to be an 83 for me. Actually, it's an 83 for me. It's going to be an 85 for me. By the way, I do have one thing I wanted to bring up. So everybody, like, to start out the episode, they're all in these, like, tubes that they're mm -hmm. holding up. And yeah. they, they, like, drop them in groups of, like, Three four or, or whatever to reveal who's who's under them. But I'm like... 
were those last people really holding theirs up for that long? Because my arms would get so tired. Maybe it's like <laughs> because I'm weak, but I would be like, I have to be in the first group Fair. or else it's just going to be falling over. I'd be like, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to I, I, Well, no, I, I feel like it was like, film, drop the first group, wait 30 seconds to get the B-roll. Okay, drop the second one, wait 30 seconds to get the B-roll. I don't think it was like... I don't think they were waiting for the full time that we saw them holding. Probably them. not. All right. I think they I probably mean, was like, maybe like a minute. They were like, okay, max. drop. <laughs> all right. Day. Okay. Next group. Let's get all the reactions. Okay. Everyone's done with their reaction. Great. Cool. Next group. Yeah. Right. I think that probably took like maybe five, 10 minutes top. Probably. If that. But <sighs> we move into the next. The ladies promos in white. Promos of white. The ladies in white. And first off, Borga. She's beautiful. She's a bitch. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Ooh. Yeah, I. Oh, sorry, Lana. You'll you'll go first. I I I I, I, I don't know if I like this look. I get it. Look, it's it's cute, but she's gorgeous. Her makeup's everything. Her makeup's studying but i'm not feeling the look as much it's like it's okay it's okay it's a, you know a flower and a boobs lace dress it's cute it's cute that's it yeah mm -hmm. yeah she's the one i wrote down um most simple look so far um yeah, I don't I don't hate this at all. Like she looks very good in it. There's I think I just think we had such like big looks from so many other people, mm -hmm. like really dragged up looks, and that's what appeals to me a lot of the time. So seeing this compared to everybody else, it was like, okay, it's it's nice, you know? And was she she was the one with like a big box with her, right? Like a big white box. And I was a little confused about that. And I think she put it like over her at one point. Oh yeah, because she was like, I'm a like doll basically and she had like the pod over her oh okay hmm. like um, like alien doll something it was some kind of description like that well i was going to compare her to somebody that she reminds me of but i got scolded for doing that so <laughs> As you we're not doing that anymore even though we always have <laughs> <laughs> we, well, we I'm always, trying not to anymore. Okay. We we got in trouble because the people. Well, I, I will say got mad. people got mad at us. They were like, mm -hmm. "Stop comparing the drag queen." It so. still just gags me. She is twenty. She's yeah. twenty. Wow. Yeah. Twenty. Wow. That's another thing that I noticed is that this is a very young cast. <laughs> the oldest person on this cast is thirty three. Oh wow! Wow, and that's Mhm. Mm and then yeah. everyone else, other than there are four people over the age of thirty, and three of those are thirty. And then there's Ankh, who's thirty-three. Wow. So, and we go from twenty to thirty-three, which is that's wild to me. Wild. Um. I like this. I think it's fine. I do agree. I mean, compared with what we've just talked about, it is on the more simple side, but I do, I love the performance of this look as well, because I didn't get why the pod was there, but I wanted to know why the pod was there. And I was like, why is that fundamental to your drag? And why did you choose that for this promo? And like, I'm intrigued by that. And I want to know more about her aesthetic. Because I don't think we got, we got a whole lot of her aesthetic directly in this episode and i want i want to know more i want to see i want to see what she does with these challenges mm -hmm. so i'm very intrigued i think this is fine it fits her body like a glove yep and when it, it, it when it fits you that well i don't really care how uh over the top it is um i just i love it and i think the wig is so perfectly on with it it feels very like it feels very Mexican, but it also feels very sixties. And I love the juxtaposition of those two ideas together. Um, I really enjoy this. So 
Of course. I'm going to give this an 80. I'm going to give this an 85. I'm going to give it a 91. Okay. Yeah. La Kylie's. I love the bottom of this dress. Me too. But I don't like the top of this dress. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't like the top. I love the bottom. I think the bottom is very pretty and very differently different in a very good way that I'm enjoying. But it's something about the top for me that is just not giving what I want. But her makeup, her mug, oh my God, uh, and that bun so tight at the top of the head. It's with so, the sculpted with the pieces. Sculpted, oh, so oh. good. She looks stunning, absolutely stunning. And this is a, definitely a creative way to make this look. It's just like, but it feels like two looks put together instead of one whole co cohesive look. But she looks stunning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind the top. Like usually, I would look at something like this and be like, "Oh, you can lose your shape." But to me, she still has enough shape to it. Um, that I really like it. I think she looks gorgeous. Like this is one of the like ones that I got the most beauty from when she came out. Like mm -hmm. her face, the dress, like this could be a wedding dress, like one of the best wedding dresses ever. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I just really like it. Like she's, she's just stunning and gorgeous. There's not much else I can say. You know, I'm looking at the top of the dress of the garment now, and I'm starting to like it more. Um, it, it's like she's floating in a cloud and then there's like wispy clouds at the bottom. Like that's kind of the, the vibe that I'm getting from it. I'm really liking it. I, I, I love the bun with the sculpted pieces that are just the same hair. So it like blends in, but you have to like look for it. I'm like those, those kind of details in drag, I really, really enjoy. Um, I love that it's, it's almost like invisible thread connecting the the skirt piece with the um with the bodice i really enjoy that yeah i'm starting to like the bodice more as i look at it i like it and the mug is oh even in the mini challenge i was like bitch <laughs> fuck you scores um it's an 85 for me it's a 80 for me and I'm going to give it an 88. Ugh. Dimitra. This is so interesting. In a good, good way. I, you know, These girls ate up this promo. I'm just going to say this now. I, and that's and the, this red group, the red group, the white group, the green group, which, which is coming. They ate these promos books up and they ate the episodes was really good too. This is so good and so weird and interesting and I kind of love it. I like how she has all the black parts like cinching at the hip, at the waist and then cinching down at the bottom to create that mermaid shape down at the bottom and then having all of those things at the arms and to match the headpiece and her makeup is just it, she, ugh. the white hair with the black thing like she gave us the whole black and white thing all the way through this whole look and I, I'm kind of eating down with this this is so good this is really good mm -hmm. you know what I see when I look at this what do you see? I see drag. I see yes. drag. And that's what I like to see. And I can just tell. I can tell that this girl was like, I got white? Really? I can't have one of the... Okay, well, you're going to see my version of white. I'm going to F it up. And she did F it up. I really like this. It almost reminds me of like a mutated like lobster, oh. reindeer, snow thing. Ooh. I don't even know how to describe it. But... It just All looks, that makes sense. Yeah, it looks really cool to me. Um, I'm very excited to see what she can do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll we'll get into what she did later on. Yeah. But I think she's capable of great things. Yeah, I really enjoy this. 
I like it, it. It's giving me this like fantastical, mythical goddess vibe, and I'm just I'm loving that. Um, I love the headpiece. I I like the way that these. Um, these gray pieces are constructed and the way that they're breaking up everything, it makes her body look just even more snatched than I know she already is. Like the shape is there. Oh, it's so good. So good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, of course. She's going to get an 89 for me. She's going to get an overflowing for me. Duh. It's so good. Duh. It's, it's so, so good. good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I can't even paint for it. So good. <sighs> Catriona. Okay. And this is probably going to be the one time I mention any other drag queen uh, from something else. Mm -hmm. But somebody wait, needs. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm ready for this. Somebody needs to take note because when your name is Katrina, you give me a cat. When your name is Rose, you give me a <laughs> rose. And she gave me the cat on her dress. And she said, this is my name. This is who I am. I'm like, if your name is of something that we can visually see and you can create, Yo, Romo, look, you better say who you are. And cr cr this this tells me everything I need to know about Katri Kat Katrina. <laughs> I love Katriona. Katriona. Katri look, Katriona, Katrina, Kat, Kat. Catrice. Kat oh, good Lord. Okay. <laughs> Kat. I started with that. I, that was on me. That was my fault. Um, I love this. I love she gave us this beautiful silhouette with these cat eyes on her hips and then even a little cat nose it's just so good she looks stunning i love it and she she, she was like i'm not just gonna give you black i mean not give you white all white i'm gonna give you a little color in here a little black and white in here a little green and blue here a little pink no i kind of love this i'm loving it Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she gives me a little bit more pageant type of drag uh, than a lot of the other ones, but she brings an interesting point of view to it, at least. So I really like that. Yeah, like the cat thing was very cool. She's got great makeup. Um, am I allowed to compare people to queens out of drag? Because she reminds me so much of somebody out of drag. Like every time I would see her, I'd be like, you look so much like Greg Queen out of drag. Um, oh yeah, well, actually, yeah. So and and that's a that's a pretty that's good a person good to be compared. Good looking. Out of yes, drag. yes, Very good she looking is, out of drag. and she can paint, and you can paint. So, uh, yeah, I like her. Uh, I'm hope I'm hoping she can continue to bring a unique perspective to this show. So, I like her. Cool. I really enjoy this. I think everything is just so expertly put together. I love the way that this skirt is constructed on this gown. Just the the pieces coming out and it seems like it's just like legs coming out. I, I really enjoy that. The face on the dress I think is a really cute, campy way to show exactly what kind of drag she does. Um, I'm very excited for what Catriona is gonna show us on this season. And I feel like I'm going to end up saying her name with more of an Italian inflection. <laughs> I, I literally felt I'm that. Trying, I'm, that. Trying, I'm trying to say Catriona, but it's coming out Catriona. Catriona. And, I, and, and I know that, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on Catriona. Um, I'm going to work on it. But scores for Catriona. Gotcha. For me, I'll give this... <laughs> I'll give Catriona an 82. <laughs> Uh, I will give Kat Katriona a 90. I'm going to give her a 91. Mm -hmm. 
And now we have our green group of promos. Starting with Chantel. Oh, I love this dress. It's huge, but I like it. <laughs> I think, I don't know if I like her makeup as much as I like some of the others' makeup, but I do like this dress. I like the different, are those bowls, all different bowls? Or are they just ridged up? I don't know. I like it. I like the top and how it's the 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 the, the and the, the the pointy shoulder. It's not like super wild and crazy, but I like it. I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing really to critique about this dress. It looks great on her. It's a great color. Um, I like her makeup. She she really knows how to make her nose like disappear basically with this makeup um yeah it's a very cartoon face in the in the prettiest way um the only thing i'll say is that if you had me name all of the people from this episode she might have been the last one that i would remember i just don't think there was a lot that stood out about her this episode and that doesn't mean that that she didn't do well she did well Sometimes people who did poorly stand out more than somebody who just does well. So um, I'm I'm hoping that she can really make a name for herself in the upcoming episodes and really stand out among the crowd. Because right now she's fading just a little bit. It's one episode, but it was a long episode. So. <laughs> it's still only one episode though, so I am looking forward to see what she what mm -hmm. she brings moving forward. This look is absolute perfection in every possible way. There's literally, like, there's nothing else I can really say about it. I think every single thing about the way this was constructed, the way she's modeling it, the way it's accessorized. I love, love the orange hair with it. I love orange hair in a green gown. Like, it's one of my favorite things in the world. Um, yeah, she, she ate this. She ate this. Scores. It's going to be an 87 for me. It's gonna be a <laughs> it's gonna be a ninety two. Yes, that's what I'll stick with. It's fall. It's fall. Fair. Ms. Peaches. I love a good hat. <laughs> I love a good this hat. Is a good hat. This is a good hat. I love the hat. I love the sleeves. I love the skirt. And that's all the outfit is. That's what it is. I love. I. It's not my favorite of the bunch, but I do love a good dramatic moment, and she's giving me a lot of dramatic moments in this outfit. But yeah, it's it's good. Still good. Still good. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's 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 a good look. It doesn't feel like it's as elevated as most of the other ones we've seen. Um, it feels like, and I, how do I say this nicely? It it doesn't feel as expensive as as most of the other looks. I'll say that. Um, but I do like the concept behind it. And you know what? I, I don't need everything to be expensive all the time. Like, if you have a concept that really works, then you can pull it off, and and I love it. I don't know if she fully pulled this off. I think my only real issue is the, the like, nude illusion that we got going here. I don't know. That part is not my favorite, but I like the shape of the outfit, and I like the hat. I like that it's pretty big. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she's. I don't know if she's quite up to the level that most of the others are. I really enjoy it. I I, I definitely agree. It's not my favorite thing that we saw. I'm not really going to judge. I don't think I can properly judge how I feel about her in relation to the competition from this episode. And we'll talk about what happened, but like, I don't think I can fully judge, you know, her aesthetic and 
how she's going to do because, I mean, we saw what happened and we'll talk about mm-hmm. it later. There's an asterisk next to her. There's an asterisk next to her. So I'm very excited to get to know more about her and get to know more about the drag that she does. And I do really enjoy this look. It's not my favorite of the group, but there, there are very subtle things that are done here that I really enjoy. I love the way the hat is made and positioned, the way that the sleeves are draping, the way that that skirt is cut in just to give that diamond effect just makes her body look so good. You can tell just from these little things that she's very, very good at drag and just this episode, it was difficult and unfortunate, uh, but I love this. Love mm-hmm. this. Scores. Um, I'll say 75. I'll give it an 83. I'm going to give it an 88. Juana Guadalupe. This stupid bitch. Is this supposed to reference what I think this is supposed to reference? I think so. With the little wings, I think so. <laughs> so it's supposed to be Wiggler. Yeah, I didn't know his name. A Bug's Life. Oh, no, 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 no. We've oh. got two different references. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of the Wiggler from the Mario universe. Oh, maybe. I got a Bug's Life. I can also see that. I don't know. <laughs> Not that. You don't know. I, okay. I don't know. I don't know about who the reference is. Oh, okay. But I also don't know about this look. Oh, <laughs> the levels mm-hmm. I just went through. <laughs> <laughs> I took you on a journey with me. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I don't know about this look. I don't know. I I, I don't know. Is that all? That, 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 that's it. Okay. I do know about this look. I really like it. This this was the biggest look in the room. And I like, I'm a size queen when it comes to drag. And just the yeah. like enormity of, of this caterpillar look just like took up so much space. And I love it. It looks so crafty in the best way. Like sometimes crafty can be exceptional. <laughs> this is exceptional for me. I just know. I know she's saving her butterfly look for the finale. It's coming. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> it's coming. She's a caterpillar now. She's going to be a butterfly in the finale when she gets there. When she gets there. Um, but yeah, I really like this. And I I really like her as a person. One of my favorites, for sure. I think for me, already in this episode, she's providing the fun drama and entertainment that I like to see. Some other people weren't, but I I was really enjoying her all throughout this episode. And then to find out that she probably made this for herself and that she made her her main challenge look. Hello? Yeah. Duh. Crazy. I just spoiled my score, but it's duh. (laughs) Like, ugh. I'm very excited. I act, I agree with you, David. I think it's going to be a when we see her in the finale. For sure. For sure. So, scores, even though I already gave mine. <laughs> I'm giving her a 93. Oh. I'm a, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. I don't, I don't know. Because I, see, here's my dilemma. I don't, hate it at all i think it looks really good but i don't know how i feel about it as a look if that makes sense i don't know i might be just losing my mind right now i'm gonna mm, okay i'm just gonna go what what i like what what i see as the look itself i will give it a 84 Six. Yes. Because I don't hate it. We, we yeah, we got you. <laughs> we got you, duh. Just to We're reiterate. Just to reiterate, duh. It bears <laughs> repeating. <laughs> duh. Sometimes it do. Aries. Aries. 
Queen. So who was the first person uh, announced for this season. And wow. from what I understand, um, was like, um, there was something about how they were cast just like immediately. Oh. I can see why. <laughs> Looks, this look is, ugh, it's great. It's great. I think I like why her foot looked like it's broken down there. It's, it's killing me. It's killing me with the broken foot. But her makeup is sickening. Her makeup is disgustingly sickening. Like, so good. And the way she got that belt sanctioned her in like that in, in this dress that's not made to be super sexy, but she's just sanctioned in like that. It's kind of it's kind of giving. It's it's kind of giving. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really I really like her. What's what's a good word to describe her? Do you do you have a good word to describe her, Logan? <laughs> you know I you want to say it. I, I, <laughs> I, I have a word. I Lana, think. what's the word? It's she seems to just be different every time you see her. Yeah, like she like, kind of blends into blends the background. Blends in the background, like chameleonic, maybe? Chameleonica. That's the word. Logan's favorite word. Period. But I can see it from her. I can see it from I her. I got so fucking mad. <laughs> she seems like somebody who's going to give but us. But you can see it, though. Brain. Oh, absolutely. Look, though. And that's the thing. I I love it when somebody says that they're a chameleonica and they actually are. Don't say you are and then you never do. It's yeah. the same thing all the time. But she's not doing that, even in this one episode. But right. Go ahead, David. No, she, she was definitely a standout for me this episode. I really am excited about her. And she's an Aries to the T. Rising, the falling, whatever. I don't All know. All the moons right. and everything. The moons the moon. and the, everything that she could be, Aries, she is. Yep. Another person I would not be surprised if is a, our winner in a couple of months here. Um, and this looks great to me. Like, I really like this look a lot. Like, mm -hmm. can't go wrong with a, a really dragged out jester look. And that's what she brought us. So, mm -hmm. love it. It's so good. The drag is just so good. Um, the drag is just so good. Like, there's really just no way to... Oh, so I remembered what it was, I believe, about um, her getting announced. Is that Aries was announced, was the first person announced after... Like, they hadn't even done the live auditions, which is a round of the process. They said, no, literally just from your video. Video. Casting yeah. you. Is what I believe happened. If please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but um, but yeah, I uh, ah, I'm so good ah, uh, I I could have been using this for just all the damn people tonight, but she did what needed to be done. There's no, <laughs> uh, it's so good. Uh, <laughs> scores. She's gonna get a ninety-four for me. She's getting a full, 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 full for me. Baby, it's at the bottom of the ocean. Ocean Gate is happening. It's in it's in the stars with the Aries, <laughs> the planets, all that. Ugh, ugh. It's so good. Ugh. And last up, Ankh Kozart. <sighs> I don't hate this. I just don't like the boot. I think the boot. I a little bit of a little bit of Kev, Kev is um coming into my system with the with the short boot. Like, don't wear the short boot, and you will have all that skin. In. I would have loved it to be a gold strappy shoe to go with that gold thing you hold in your hand, or even and a black strappy sandal. I mean, but you got all that gold accent all over the dress, I all in your head I'm piece, say all in your thing. I'm saying anything yeah. but the shoe, quite frankly. Yeah. Could yeah. have been a green, a gold, a black, a white. Mm. I don't yeah. care. It just didn't need to be that boot. 
But the the rest of the look is not oh. bad at all. It's just so good. Like it's really good look. It's just the shoe throws me off. But her makeup is ugh. Ugh. that head, whatever that is, is so good. It's so good. I still love it. Mm -hmm. I really like this too. So she was the one that came out and she's like, I can be a king. I can be a queen. I can be a monster. I can be angelic. So I'm really excited about the range she's going to have. Um, and I've learned lately that I'm really digging queens that can really bring like indigenous type of looks like this. And she's from Argentina. So she really wants to show mm -hmm. off her culture. And you can see that right away from this look and from other looks we're going to get from yes. her this episode. Um, I just love it. Especially the top half is like, I'm living for it. Mm -hmm. And I really like her prop as well with the sun. It's just so dragged up and I love it. I love it. She's great. I love it. <laughs> I think it looks really good. Again, the boot, no. No. Boot up, loving this look. And I love the I love the way that Ankh does their makeup with this like triangular effect. Um with the just everything else blocked out. It it's it's so interesting to me. Oh, I love it. I love it. The scores. I'm gonna give Ankh an 89. I'm gonna do a 98. Gotta take off of the boot. I am also gonna give it a 98 because of the boot. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been full full for me if it wasn't yep. for the boot. Yeah. So well, we uh, we we made it through the entrance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> an hour and seven minutes so that's gonna be fun um so yeah they all then go from the green screen studio that we are shaking our hula hoop uh jasmine <laughs> masters cocoons <laughs> from um and we go into the nick's dressing room i love seeing that nick's is the sponsor for this mm -hmm. um because that feels like it, it's very throwback because Drag Race was sponsored by Nick's for a while. And I, okay. I like seeing a Nick's sponsorship and several other sponsorships we'll talk about later because one of them was redacted. One was redacted. I was like, <laughs> they what? showed the banner on screen. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> um, I was like, are we redacting it or not? Nah? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> um, but so we go into the Nick's dressing room. There's a fight between it's Juana and Kylie's. Is that who it was? Fighting over the chair for the spot. Oh, it's literally the yes, same spot as the Yes. Yes. It's like, who cares? <laughs> literally, it's the same thing, girl. Just turn one's facing the camera, on. one's not. <laughs> it might have been uh, Chantel. I don't remember. Uh, but I know it was Juana because that's where Juana yes. ends up being. Because she's literally smack dab in the middle of all the drama earlier, and they cut, keep cutting. But in every wide shot, it's always Juana in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So they come in. Um, we do the things, and um, we get the mentor. One of the two mentors. Mm -hmm. Again, hi. We're learning how this works. So, um, so they're just mentors. I'm so they are listed it. on the website as coaches. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it to something I know, and I'm gonna take it that Johnny Carmona as well as Alexis 3XL, who is a former contestant. I don't know how she places David. <laughs> so don't worry. I don't know how she places, <laughs> but she may or may not have been on the show before because they said that in the episode. Yes. Period. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I literally was like, "Wait, is is this guy Johnny? Is he the same one that's Groot later on?" I did not no, know. No, they're no. very, they're different. They're different. Okay. Um, no. So Johnny Carmona and Alexis Three XL are. I'm going to call them the Tim Gunn. Okay. Plural. Tim Gunn. I'm, I'm equating it to Tim Gunn from Project Runway. Um, again, that's what I know. That's the vibe I was getting. It seems like it because there's a completely separate judging panel mm -hmm. and a completely separate host 
who is not a judge or a coach. Right. Hi, again, we're learning how this works. Y'all just um, tell us what it is. Y'all tell us what it is. And so we'll yes. know for future references. Yes. Yeah. So Johnny then wearing the skimpiest little thong he could. <laughs> With his blue beard. Maybe. <laughs> With his blue beard. Ooh. Um, and then later they tease, oh, there's a fifth, there's a 15th contestant. Cause it, I, I guess Lamas is very known for bringing back past contestants. That's like a thing, apparently. Uh, I guess this is the first season to not bring back, uh, returning contestants since season two. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> it's a whole thing. Um, but we find out it's Alexis 3XL, who was on a previous season, um, who is going to be another coach for them. I guess running the mini challenge or the the fast challenges, doing that sort of thing. Um, I'm thinking of it as Tim Gunn. Okay. Tim Gunn. I don't know who I'll think of it is because I don't watch Project Runway. I mean, really unfortunate. I mean, they're probably just a mentor of sorts. They don't really have a say. Did you watch Call Me Mother? Yes. I'm thinking of them like um, Farah and Landon. Right. Okay, makes that's sense. how I'm thinking of them as well. Because it was a similar kind of concept on Call Me Mother, except Farah and Landon were also judges. Oh, right. okay. So um, that's that's like the 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 next closest thing I can think of. But we find out for the the fast challenge, it is um, surprise challenge is what they called it, or surprise oh, no. challenge, and what it. From from our subtitles, it said surprise challenge. Yes. Um, so if that's actually what it translates to, great. If not, let us know. Um, but they are presenting La Mas Vaporosa, mm-hmm. uh, where we are doing an aerial photo shoot while hanging from the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Yep. Flowy looks. The most flowy. I do love Steamy. that every I love that everything is themed and everything is the most whatever. I love that already. I, <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, but yeah, so you have 30 minutes to get into flowy quick drag. And at this point, we find out the winner of the surprise challenge. Um, I do like just calling it surprise challenge. Um the winner of the surprise challenge gets three stars towards the main challenge, which when we were watching the surprise challenge, I was like, what does that mean? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> okay, this is Mario I like, Kart. I know. I was like, oh my God, it's Mario party. Yay. Oh, I yeah, love Mario, Mario party. party drag competitions. And then it kind of is. <laughs> I love it. And the Mario uh, themes uh, keep going very soon. <laughs> yeah they do um but yeah so they they do the mini the surprise challenge it's gonna take a little bit for me to remember remember terms y'all i'm so drag race right focused usually so surprise challenge um drink every time someone said they were afraid of heights actually <laughs> don't you would die of alcohol poisoning. true but yeah, when they were getting ready, that's when they played a very specific music that I remember from Mario 64. And it's a really. it's a it's a song that makes me want to like get things done very quickly. Ooh. So it was perfect. It was perfect music, but I was like, I oh wow, that. they paid for some Mario 64 music here. I love that. I will say this though. From the Instagram when they were doing those pictures of mm-hmm. from the surprise challenge or fast challenge. The translation is the most steamy. Oh. Ooh. So maybe it's the most steamy. Um, Interesting. Of, instead of, you know, I don't know, whatever. Oh, because vaporosa vapor. Vapor, vapor is steam. Flow. I see that though. Like I see that. I see why. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So we do have the surprise challenge looks. Um, we're not going to fully score them, I don't think. We're just going to we're going to do our little thumb rating that we do sometimes for these like mini challenge things. Um, so 
I mean, because they are looks and they deserve to be talked about a little bit. True. And they're we're not doing like full critiques on it. All right. The way I would be so pissed off if I'm doing this and then they suddenly drop me, like I oh, would have been furious. I would have thrown up. I, mm, I like, was hard bad, and it's been very bad as of recent. Um, I would have just thrown up. Like, it, I, it would not have been good. I wonder if they warned them that they were going to do that at some point. I'm not sure. I don't. A lot of people were like screaming. Like they was ah, like literally, and some of them were a little upset. They were like, "You don't have I'd to do that." Very like, upset. You know, I would have been upset too, annoyed. Like, okay, but yes, yeah. Let's get into this. Look, look I start medium. Airy. Okay. okay. We're leaning up. I like it. I like, I like it. One. It would have been better in a nice background that you could see it better, but absolutely. Mm -hmm. But that's what they gave us, so that's what we're gonna work with. Mm-hmm. Kelly, absolutely. I like it too. Her mug is great. Ankh. The most flowy. Not the the most flowy. I have to go there. Go there. <laughs> sorry, sorry, darling. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't no. go that far. No, I'm gonna go because there's no passion in the face. There's no nothing. Like it's giving yeah. me nothing. But no. Yeah. Alexis. I really enjoyed eh, I like the movement. Leaning. It's leaning. I she like just the kept movement. doing the same movement the whole time. I the same movement and the same face. Things. But if it right. provides all, when all you need is one good one shot. One good shot. And that's a good one. So yeah, I'm gonna lean up. Just lean. No, not all the way up. Ariel. Absolutely. This was beautiful. Yeah. This was stunning. This Could have been second, a winner. This was my second favorite. Yeah. Could have been a winner for sure. For sure. It's so good. It's so good. I literally wrote down I get winner vibes when she was doing hers. Work. Catriona. We're leading up. We're leading. Yeah. yeah. We're leading yeah. up. We're leading not up. bad. Not, not bad. bad. This photo does this look so much more justice. Yeah. Than it mm -hmm. did because looking at it flat, it wasn't the most interesting thing in the world. But this photo is really good. Yeah. Ooh. Juana Guadalupe. I'm going to go up because I didn't think I would like this picture when she was doing it. I was like, oh, these pictures are going to be horrible. She looks a mess. But she pulled out a really good one. Mm -hmm. And she was doing the most at like trying to give different poses too. Yeah. Like she never did the same thing twice, which I appreciate it. She was one of the only ones I think that was trying to move more in 3D as opposed to a lot of people were trying to move just in this one solid plane because mm -hmm. they were worried about how the um, suspension system was going to hold them up. Right. But right. Juana and I think Ari or Ariel, no, Aries. Aries was um the other one that was kind of like moving in in three dimension and kind of like leaning forward leaning back a little bit getting that shot like that um yeah i enjoy it mm -hmm. me too mm -hmm. la kylie's mm -hmm. it's fine it's leaning down for me i don't really get flowy at all. i don't get anything i it's get too straight up and down i get beautiful women Right, it's too straight up and down for me. It. It's leaning down, not all the way down, just leaning. Miss Peaches, I'ma lean up a little bit. I'ma lean up as well. I'ma lean up a little bit because that dress is work. She working the dress, and it's giving up and flowy, and then it's straight down, and so you, like she could do so much more movement with it. But uh, I kind of like this. Gave me the most of what her aesthetic is from anything in this episode, honestly. Mm -hmm. I was like, I mm -hmm. see it. I, it's body, it's mm -hmm. color, it's bright. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Chantal. Yeah. It's a bad picture, baby. This is a bad I'm gonna picture. I'm gonna lean down a little I'm, bit. I'm all the way mm -hmm. down. Ooh. This is the one. This is the picture I did not like at all. She didn't give me much of this episode. I want more girls. Step it up. Yeah. It's just a bad picture. The face, yeah. her pose, everything is not great. Burga. 
I'm gonna lean out. Middle ground. No, I'm middle. I'm middle ground. Not bad. I really I like this the, color. I mm-hmm. love the way the wig looks in this. The way the wig was moving as well. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed that. Dimitra. I'm gonna lean up. I think this is my favorite dress mm-hmm. of yeah. the bunch, and I thought it could do more. I just don't think her pose was the best. Like she didn't give me in the eyes and in the face, but this dress was everything. So it kind of loses say. its shape though. Well, I was gonna say the foot on that note, the photographer was telling her to show her legs. How was she supposed to do that? Right. Mm-hmm. Hike up the dress and just show everything? Like Yeah. I don't know. It was it was good though. Mm, yeah. Braulio. I'm a mid. Mm, it's, of the road. it's it's a good upper body photo. Yeah. If this was cropped, I think I would like it a lot more. Her legs are doing nothing for me. Yeah. Um it's kind of hard with such a dark background too. But you got all that leg out. You got at least like and, and, the, and all you're doing is all you're doing is crossing at the knees. Like I mm-hmm. like flex the leg or show the you know something. I don't know, but it's it's okay. It's okay. It's yeah. mid. Ah, Electra, baby. Period. 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 Bottom line. Period. Period. Everything I'll say, nothing. yeah, they rushed through showing okay. these photos on the screen, and immediately that was the one that stood out to me. Like mm-hmm. this is like giving me like a beautiful jellyfish. Yep. Yeah. Like it, there's so much flow and shape to it. And then she posed them like, oh, yeah. like give me a break. Perfection. 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 And that's 30 minutes of makeup. Yeah. That's great. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Of She's smart. This is, this is my kind of queen. I yep. love her. Mm-hmm. I'm here for her. Yeah. The thing. Yeah, that was it. So, um, yeah, so we do get a winner of our beautiful little mini challenge. Surprise! Surprise challenge. challenge. Uh, and it is Electra. Go Electra. Represent for the House of Black and White. Period. I am. (laughs) And we find out that there will be a mini challenge loser. (gasps) And so that there is cool. a twist this season where the person who loses the mini challenge is automatically into the lip sync challenge at the end of the episode. When she said, I heard y'all talking and I heard y'all say, oh, don't worry about it. It's just a mini challenge. <laughs> I, I was like, well, I oh? think that's a reference to a past season. I don't think that's from mm. this season. No, that's what she said. She heard him backstage talking. And yes, then... but I think, but I think she's referencing a past season, though. I mean, that because they would have shown the clip if one of the girls from this season had done it. That's the but thing. One of the girls said they were the ones that did it. Who said that? What? Oh, 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 Guadalupe. Juana? Juana. Juana was like, oh my God, I was one of those people in the back saying that. She oh. literally said it in the episode. Oh, I dun dun dun. That, yeah, I she she was like, oh man, I was one of the people who said that. And so I'm like, oh, see, now we so maybe people back there like, I don't want to do that much because these don't matter, which I'm sure a lot of people on other shows probably say the same thing. Like, I don't have to do if I win, I win. If I don't, it's okay because these don't matter. When this yeah. stuff starts to matter, I think we'll get better challenges. And so that's what this excited me so much because I was like, oh, now they won't have a reason to not give their all through the whole show. Like, you can't slack up at all. And that makes this even more exciting to me. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When she said it, I was like, oh, I'm here for this. I got excited. I got super excited. I was like, yes. Make them work. Make them work. Love it. Um, I'll say if this happened on Drag Race, I would be super annoyed and I would think that's ridiculous. But that's I don't know how it's going to work on here. If if the challenge, if the fast challenges are more quality than what we get from our mini challenges in Drag Race, then okay, it'll be fine. 
but yeah, I just need to see before I make a decision on whether I like this or not. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. It's like if it, if they're going to be really quality surprise challenges, then I'm fine with it. But if it's what we've seen on other drag shows before, I'm no. But uh, our photographer did name a mini challenge loser, and it's Ankh. I would, I would be so pissed off if I was that photographer. I'm like, you're gonna put me in that position. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like her life is in my hands now. Oh, thanks. Thanks, yeah. I'm the bad guy. Really appreciate that. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for or making Ankh. me the guy. Yeah. So Ankh <sighs> is automatically in the lip sync challenge, and we'll talk about that later. But we do have, oh boy, the the drama, the drama hmm. erupts when they are getting ready for the main the main challenge performance, and we get this drama between Alexis and Ankh over things that happened at the auditions um alexis being told by several i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna assume family members or um sisters or fellow drag artists uh, with with alexis that Ankh is just really rude and dismissive and is being rude to the crew and was rude to the crew at the auditions Again, reminder, we're driving into this with literally no knowledge of any of this happening whatsoever. So I'm just like, oh, God, the drama. Jesus, the drama. Like, okay, mm -hmm. I don't even know if I really have an opinion on the drama because I don't know these people well enough to have an opinion on the uh, drama. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, it seemed like most of the girls were more supporting Ankh on this. And they're like, hey, yeah. she's not she's not from Mexico. She doesn't have that same like polite demeanor that a lot of us have. Um, but they did show us a clip of Alexis standing right in front of Ankh. And Ankh, it did yeah. seem like Ankh was asking nicely, like, hey, can you not stand in oh, front yeah. of me? And Alexis was like, get over it. And I was like, mm. so at least in that instance, based on what we saw, I do think Alexis should have been, I don't know. A, a little kind to Ankh in that situation because obviously you can't just block her like that. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm still I'm still gonna give them all the benefit of the doubt. I'm not writing anybody yeah. off, but that's for my me opinion. this whole thing didn't make either of them look great to me. I was just like, okay, great, cool. Mm -hmm. But even Ankh was like, I'm already over it. She wasn't even one talking about it. She didn't bring it up, somebody else did. It was um, one of the A's, one of the many A's. <laughs> we have so many people whose names start with A. <laughs> is it Ariel or is it Aries? I think is it, it Ariel, 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 Ariel and Alexis, Ankh. Who's the one I find really hot? Ariel? I think it's Ariel. Okay, I think it was Ariel that brought it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Ariel that brought it up. And so Ariel was fighting with Alexis and then Ankh got into the drama. So, and then there's, there's some like more fun drama happening because the whole episode, basically from the moment we meet Portuga, we are also met with this apparent controversy of her stealing wigs. And Everett, literally the first thing people are saying is disqualify Portuga hide your wigs from Portuga and I'm like <laughs> what is what happening? happening like again if y'all have backstory please let us know like I want to know but I'm like what uh, huh I'm yep. so confused from from what I picked up on this it sounds like something completely unrelated to this show um Kelly had a wig that went missing and eventually they found it with Perga's stuff. Now, Perga's like, why would I steal your wig and then bring it back to whatever place? Um, so it she's. The auditions. It sounds like it this will happen like, with the auditions. Okay, maybe so. But yeah, this seemed like a much more lighthearted argument. It didn't seem like anybody was that mad about it. Mm -mm. Um, so I like this part a little bit better than the other fight that we had going on, which got a little bit heated. Um, 
yeah, I just, I, I like to see queens that can like bicker, get out their drama, but still kind of love each other. And that's kind of the vibe I was getting here. I hope so. So I guess we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. That part was a fun part of like, hey, to see even Kelly was there, like, for, for, uh, she stole my wig, but I still love her. So it was kind of yeah. very lighthearted mm -hmm. kind of. You know, she stole my wig. No, I didn't. You never spoke on it publicly. Well, I'm gonna do it now. I didn't take. The I'm wig. here to set the record straight about right. me stealing wigs. I like, didn't. That's do what. It, right. That's what Borga was doing all episode. I'm just like, ooh, okay, girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can tell she is 20 and lot. on television for the first time. It was funny. I enjoyed it. I laughed. But then. Uh, Wana got into it, got in with it. Kylie's, wasn't it? Kylie's was in it a little bit, Portuga mm -hmm. was in it. Like, it was all just like, Wana's a bitch. Ha 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 ha. shades everybody. No, I ha, don't. Ha, 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 okay, ha, ha, maybe I do. It's kind of like, maybe I do. It no. felt very like that was the playful, the playful fighting that I was here for. It was Wana was just like, what she was like. Wana's crazy. I'm like, okay, girl, I see you. I work, Wana. I'm here for it. It was fun. That was a fun <laughs> moment. That was crazy. It it definitely took away from the heated conversation oh, yeah. that was earlier. So I was very glad that, that we didn't just stay heated, that they were able to like, okay, let's dial it back. And let's, you know, we still got to give entertainment and all this other stuff. So it was fun. It was That part was funny. But mm -hmm. I don't know no backstory, so it really didn't affect me no kind of way at all. So I was kind of like, oh. But give us the tea in the give comments. Give us the tea in the Everybody. comments so I can be like, ah, now I know. I, you stole that wig, girl. You know you did. Like, whatever. <laughs> I want to be able to, I want to be able to pick a side. Y'all help me right. pick a side. Help me pick a side. <laughs> but um yeah, so now it's it's time to go to the the main main performance runway extravaganza oh floor show we're calling it floor look here y'all give us the all lingo. the people that are involved give us the lingo tell us what the lingo is so we know what to call it the next episode thank yes you. thank you um so i do also love that we have separate coaches a separate judging panel and a separate host, mm -hmm. um, which is not something I'm used to at all. Um, but we have Marisol Gonzalez as the host for this season. Um, and she is new to this just like we are. Oh, is she? This, she, uh, she, this is her first season hosting La Mas. So I don't know who it mm -hmm. was before. I think there were two other hosts prior to Marisol. Um but she is the new host of La Mas. Mm -hmm. And um, I I want to say, like, when she came out and we had that, like, driving music just, like, going, and mm -hmm. she she's making all of her announcements, thanking all of her, her sponsors, including... Redacted. Yep. Um, BP Oil? Okay, is that who it was? That's who it was. There, like. there was a little flag that popped up, and it said, I think, BP. And I was That's like... What it looked like. What? Mm -hmm. But like, all of that, <laughs> all of that moment, like even with her, with nothing happening, but her just talking, I was getting so pumped. Like I was like getting into the music. I'm like, yes, I want to be there in an audience. Like I wish they had a live audience. I don't know if they ever have, right. but it would feel so fitting for this. And like that driving beat was just getting me pumped with each each beat. And I, I like honestly found myself kind of like wanting to clap along. Mm -hmm. I'm like, come on, girl, yes, let's get into this. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. it, it definitely set the mood for me. And uh, she also, from what I've read, um, was Miss Universe Mexico 2003. Okay. So she, uh, and she's a very well-known actress and TV personality. So um, I think this might be one of her first hosting gigs, but um, she's here. We have our permanent judging panel, um, which is, which consists of Letal, who is our fabulous 
uh, she is Groot. <laughs> she is Groot. She is Groot. Okay. <laughs> she is Groot. Um, as well as Raquel Martinez, who, again, don't know who she is. Um, I know she's a trans influencer, actress. That's the vibe I'm getting from, from Instagram, uh, from looking at her Instagram a little bit. And in Yadi Mejia, who, again, don't know who she is. Love her. Love what we saw of her in this episode. Don't know who she is. Um, and then in this specific episode, we have guest judge Susanna Zabaleta, who can go because she's not a permanent member of this. Oh, panel. good. She's not permanent. Oh, good. Good. Very good. thrilled about that. We'll get. I was not that. a fan with her, but oh, well, no, no. We're and then. And then we have our little pit crew of <laughs> of men. Cuties. I love them. They're so cute. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah, but, like, Me too. Especially them. one of them. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. one? The one with the little halter top thing, right? Yes. Here. That one. <laughs> the one I'll, I'll take. I'll take the main one. So that's fine mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then you get little. What's his name? Little something. Uh, Venenito. <laughs> yes. The translation said little little veneno. Little veneno. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Little veneno. So I mean that's that is if you had an But it's a cutie pie. Me yeah. you too. Me you too. I was like, mm -hmm. at least we have hot, almost naked Mexican men on this show too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> big fan. Big big fan. Big, big, big fan. fan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these are their promos. Ever all they all get a promo too. I think it's real cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. Um, I'm gonna be honest because I think it's Alexis. Um, in the if we're if we're doing it by rows, first, second, third row in the bottom mm -hmm. row there, on the right, I believe mm -hmm. that's Alexis. I think she has my favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm still gonna go with um, Groot. Um, Letal. Letal. I Letal. like. I like her promo here um i'm giving it to the one at the top with the flowers in her hair top okay, we all pick somebody different here top left you said mm -hmm. i th believe that yeah. is yachty with a big hair i believe that's yachty i like her so agreed Okay. But I'm like, oh, good. Everyone gets a promo. That's fun and different mm -hmm. for what mm -hmm. we're used to. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, great. Okay, cool. <laughs> um. So yes, our first challenge, our first set of uh, runway presentations. Um, we get La Mas Monumental, where our uh, drag artists are tasked with uh, representing a monument or historic mm -hmm. building of Mexico. Mm -hmm. It can be from your home your, state. Or not. Or not. Um, a lot of people did and not. Because <laughs> half of these are in Mexico City, despite no one actually claiming Mexico City as their uh, home, as their birthplace in like the little uh, <laughs> right, professional exactly, thing. Right. Which, again, I read somewhere i guess there's a mexico city curse oh where every person to go home first on every other season of la mas has been from mexico city i don't oh. know who they are oh david <laughs> <laughs> but now i know to be on the lookout <laughs> well it seems like there's a lot of people from mexico city on every season so <laughs> yeah but um yeah, I guess this this season has broken the Mexico City curse because no one has claimed Mexico City. <laughs> well, there's some people yes, who were born there coming. or like live there, but no one claimed it as far as the show's purposes are concerned. Mm -hmm. okay. So, um, and interestingly enough, the way that Lana made our slideshow today is actually in scored order. Because mm -hmm. um, that's how they post them on Instagram. So we're going to be talking about them in order of what they were scored uh, from the bottom to the top. So first up is Ms. Peaches. I hate this for her. I hate this for her because the fact that she did not 
get her outfit that she wanted made because the designer flaked out on her is kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. And why did you take her money if you're not going to do the outfit? And I love the judge who was going off mm -hmm. on the designers Yachty, who do that Yachty stuff. Again. Yeah, love her. She was going off on the judges, on the designers who do that. If you can't make the look or you don't want to make the look, don't take the money. This is important to her. This could have sent her home. This could yeah. be something that could ruin her, you know, because she gets on TV and she can't produce the look that you promised you will be able to produce for her. That's so yeah. negligent and reckless. And like, she, I hope she soon got her money back because uh, you ain't produced what you said you was going to do. And then I don't need it after the fact either. So give my money. Her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with everything Alana is saying. And, and we've really started to develop relationships with different queens from different series lately. And we're hearing so many stories like this. Like, yeah. it's not just as one thing. So it's it's kind of crazy to me that people are so irresponsible when they like it's it's so important. There's there's so much at stake here. And it's really unfortunate because, yeah, she she was the worst of the night. She was the worst of the night. And there wasn't much she could do about it. So do I like this look? No. I wrote down, I'm like, I just don't think she's at the level of everybody else. And that was before I knew the whole situation. I would love to see what she had intended to do. But yeah, this for me, just, I mean, sure. She she had to come up with something last minute. Good for you, girl. Don't love it. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, so her reference here is uh, the Mural Playas de Tijuana. Where mm -hmm. and she talked about you know shifting obviously she was going to do something else and shifting her idea to talking about this mural in Tijuana which is where she spent a lot of time and talking about deportation which I thought was a really I wasn't expecting that kind of story to come out of it um, so I was really touched to like love her love her, love her um, yeah when she came out I was like this couldn't have been what she originally planned right i don't i don't see a universe where that where that's real but i will say honestly as a standalone look i don't mind it for this for this specific uh runway challenge it is the worst obviously mm -hmm. no question about that but as a standalone bodysuit with a little belt thigh high hair moment you know, I'm really not all that mad at it. This, um, is, this is a great performance look. If she was performing somewhere, true. and she was on the stage somewhere, this bodysuit is banging. Like, it's, it's, it's well, that's where I got cool. mad as well with the guest judge because she was like, "You could have danced. You could have showed off your other talents." Girl, she's still trying to figure out what she's gonna do. At least she came in drag down the runway. And this like this don't call for her to be dancing around and right. That's this not is, the it's thing. It's a very somber sort of mural. Why are we dancing? Right. I'm gonna come out with the. You with didn't this. get it. She didn't get it. Like we gonna come out with it and start flinging it around. I was like, right. like, that would have just been that, chaotic and <laughs> exactly. weird. And like, what are you doing, girl? Like, no, she. Yeah. I guess uh, adios I guess. to her. Adios. Oh, agreed. Oh, oh, oh. Agreed. Scores. Watch her be like some loved icon. Right. Oh, probably. Uh, probably. Sorry. Uh, probably. I don't a, really care. I'm about to say if she's a loved icon to you all in Mexico, and um, that's that's fine. But mm -hmm. what she did on this show was not cute at all. No. And I am not going to apologize for not liking her. Right. Sorry. My score for this, I'm, I'm going to be a little generous for her considering the circumstances. I'm going to give her a 68. Yeah. I'll give her a 69. Nice. I am also going to give her a 69. Nice. nice. Thanks. <laughs> Too bad David couldn't have done the same thing. David. Fine. 69 from me, too. No, you are nice. nice. No, nice. 
Next up, we have Dimitra, who was doing uh, the Biblioteca Central at the National Autonomous University of Mexico. Um, and she re received a score of 10. Uh, Miss Peaches was the lowest score of the night with eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, I, I think she looks very good. Like her makeup is great, her wig is great. Um, the the silhouette here is kind of interesting, and I don't. I it just left me a little confused. It almost looks like we've seen on other shows where there's like a theme, um, a specific runway theme, and people will just wear like a normal outfit and then just stick something on themselves to match that theme, and that's kind of what I got from her with this whole black. Um, like latex bodysuit, it doesn't feel connected to whatever she's wearing. But then again, I'm ignorant and I don't really know what the monument is. I don't know what it looks like. So maybe it's like, wow, that's that's spot on. You should have the black latex on there. But for me, it just left me a little confused. So it was not one of my favorites, but she still looks very pretty to me. I, I agree. I think she looks stunning. Her face, beat hair, love. The only thing is, I feel like it gave me more luggage than it gave me the monument. Like, it looked like she was carrying luggage on instead of the monument that it was supposed to be. But I love the artwork on the box that she has. It looks very like the monument because I did go look to see what everything, what the references were and what these, you know, what they supposed to look like. Um, and I like I, I I like it, but and I, I mean I don't hate it by any means, but I want it more. Like I, I don't know what else, what more she could have done to I just want it more. I just don't know what it is. I think it's difficult to do a library. Right. Like I think that's mm -hmm. just kind of honestly what it is. It's like I think it's a it's a cool idea to do, but I and I do love the book fascinator i think that's really nice but she just looks like she's in a suitcase right that don't look like with, an open book with latex all over I mean, she did have an open book but like it, mm, she's yeah. holding one right um but yeah it uh, it's just not my favorite right yeah scores um, yeah, this was my second lowest score. I gave her a 77. Mm. Mm. I'm going to give it a 65. I'm going to give it a 70. Next up is Braulio, who is doing the Monumento a la Madre uh, in Ciudad de Mexico. Uh, and Braulio scored a 12. I didn't get that. <laughs> I didn't either. I didn't get that at all. I didn't get that either. I was like, why so low for Braulio? Like, because she's dis because uh, they're disrespecting mothers. And which I was like, girl, shut up. Like, wait, did they really say that? That's what, that? I guess Josh said. Did. that's what she said. And I was like, girl, shut up. Like, it's a monument, it's a statue. That's what he's, that's what she's doing. And she looks great doing it. Like, what, what is wrong it's with the you? monument for mothers? Yes, that's literally what the mm -hmm. monument is. She's doing it in her interpretation of it by her drag style, period. Like, yeah. shut up. It's very clear this woman doesn't like anything that's not pretty drag. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm going to say that a lot when we start talking about her and these. I'm going to yep. tell her to shut up a lot. So just be ready. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah. For me, I, I do like this. And I've seen so many Dragula looks, so it's hard not to compare this to some of the better types of looks that we've seen of this. It does look good. It would not be in my bottom three. 
Um, but I do see some of the criticisms that she got, um, especially like with the wig line. Yeah, that could have been positioned better. Um, there could have been something to make it pop more, even adding a little bit of color in there. Um, you can still do like dark colors. So yeah, I, I do wish it had been a little bit more there. But my biggest issue was that it felt performance wise, like it was about to go somewhere and it never just went there, you know, like mm -hmm. I was expecting a moment from it because so many of them had such like captivating performances with their looks. And that's what I really like about this show is that they're not just showing us their looks. They're not just hitting the beats on the stage. They're actually performing and delivering mm -hmm. it. Um, and she was doing that, but it just didn't go quite to the level that I wanted. And it left me kind of with blue balls a little bit. So, <laughs> Not that. Um, but yeah, I still liked her a lot. Um, yeah. I thought the garment was really well made. I, I mean, I understand the, the addition of black fabric in it could have made it a little bit better, but I, I still thought it was good. Um, the prosthetics, again, could be better. But I thought for what the performance was, I thought it was actually a really good performance. Um, yeah, I... I didn't understand why this was so low. But... Scores. Um, I gave her an 81. I gave her 83. 80. Next is Alexis Mugler, who's doing, who did the uh, Monumento al Papa Juan Pablo II. I believe it's probably Pope. Yeah, Mo the Monument to Pope John Paul II. Um, and scored a 12. And this was the one that got. Mm. How dare you disrespect 80% of the the people that are Catholic in this country. How dare Catholic people uh, disrespect queer people? How, how do we, how do we get mad at somebody for protest, well, making a stance against Catholic, the Catholic church who has been Sunk, drowned in controversy and dealing, and I'm not even talking about queer people right now. I'm talking about yeah. children. Yeah. You have been problematic to children for a long period of time. And when someone makes a stand about it, you want to say, How dare you disrespect 80% of the Mexican people who are Catholic? Uh, when you're standing against sexual abuse, absolutely disrespect the, the Catholic Church and, and, and anybody who stands with that. I'm sorry. I will always stand on the right side of, of, of right when it comes to children and their innocence being snatched away by someone who is supposed to protect them. And they feel very a lot of people have been hurt by these people who are in this position who are supposed to be guiding, guiding them and, you know, helping them and in an authority. Mm, I will never side with sexual abusers, period. And the fact that Alexa was like, I am a first grade teacher who look in the innocence of these children's eyes every single day. And I wouldn't want anybody to rip that innocence away from them. And this is just happens to be what I decide to stand against. So I will always stand up for the right. I was like, yes, Alexis, period. Always stand up for what's right. And I don't care who is offended. I don't care if I offend 80% of the Mexican people in the world because you decide to be Catholic. And it has... And it has really nothing to do with the religion of Catholicism. You can be Catholic and still be against the foolishness that's going on in your church. Yep. I am a Christian woman and I know there's some foolishness happening in some Christian churches around the world. And I will stand against all of that because mm -hmm. what they do don't affect my, my Christianity. 
but I'm not going to be like, oh, don't talk about Christian people. That's just wrong. No, we don't do, they don't do, we don't, please, please, they do it. They do it. Catholic church priests and people who are in those out, they do that. So we should be able to stand against that, even if you are Catholic, because your Catholicism, and your religion has nothing to do with you standing against what's right and what's wrong, even if it's in your own church, even if it's in your own family. You should be able to say that's wrong and we don't stand for this. I, girl, shut up. Shut up. She I don't I, if she is ever on the show again, I promise you I will tune that episode out. Because she bothered me in this moment. Bothered me. Oh, okay. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Oh. Yeah, I, I agree with everything Lana's saying. Like, I literally, when she said that, I had to rewind because I'm like, did I misunderstand something? Am I missing something? Why is this something that's being said? Why did this make the edit? Um, Because it was just so out of line for me. And honestly, like, she gave stats on the back of her thing. Like, I couldn't read it all. Like, I, I'm not that great with Spanish. But it seemed like she was actually giving statistics about sexual abuse in the Catholic Church. And you know who should be the most against that? People in the Catholic Church. church they should be offended by that. They should be offended by what priests are doing. They shouldn't be offended by somebody calling it out. They should be the ones calling, calling it, out. it out. Period. So... For her to say that, Ooh. that tells me she's an enabler. Mm-hmm. And I'm just mm-hmm. going to say it. She's an enabler. If she wants people to be quiet about mm-hmm. things like that, then that means that she's for that. Yep, She's one of those people that thinks, yes, let's keep it hush-hush because we don't want to offend anything. We don't want to cause a stir. But I will talk about Alexis's performance here. Um, the look was was okay for me. I liked it. What I really liked was her performance. This was the mm-hmm. very first one we saw on the stage. And she had such intensity in her face. And you can mm-hmm. see it in this picture. But you can tell. Like, I wasn't exactly sure what. I, there were a few words I picked up on. So I did I did realize it was about sexual abuse. Um, but you can tell with her face that it's something she's passionate about. And she should mm-hmm. be. And she should be. So shut up if you think otherwise. I don't care to talk about that woman, so I'm not going to. Okay. Uh, y'all did a pretty damn good job of doing it already, so cool. I don't think I need to add anything to the conversation. On the topic of this look from Alexis Mugler, I don't like the look. The performance was amazing. As soon as I realized what it was, I went back and rewatched the whole thing, and I was like, oh, I love this performance. I think the performance of it was glorious. And with all of that being said, I think this dress is ugly. (laughs) I don't think this does absolutely. And I think that's supposed to be the point. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I do like it in that regard. I don't think it's supposed to be the most like beautiful, extravagant thing in the world. Because the topic is ugly. Exactly. So I'm not going to like fully tear it apart. Um because it's not supposed to be pretty from from at least the perspective that I'm getting. So the mug is the mug is gorgeous. The mug is mugging. The mug is <laughs> mugging. Mug yeah. Scores. Um I gave this an 80. I will match your 80 actually. I am going to give it a 72. Um Next up, La Kylie's, who is doing um, uh, Fuente de la Diana Casadora or Diana the Huntress Fountain in Ciudad de Mexico. And La Kylie scored a 15 with the judges. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Let me start with what I like. Sure. Logan, let me start with what I like. I love the hair. I love the way that it's like it's giving the flying, uh, you know, like it's it's in motion kind of uh, look. I love her mug. I think she looks beautiful. I love the bowl that she's holding. That is all I love about this look. Because there is nothing much to love about this look. That's not much of a look. It's a pan. It, it's just not much for me. But maybe that's the fountain. 
that's what it looks like. I just am not a fan of it. It's just not giving me anything else besides the hair. I think the hair is the showpiece. And then everything else is like an afterthought, in my opinion. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, the hair was definitely what stood out to me. I love this. Like, I think it's so cool. We don't see things like this enough on the different drag shows we watch. Um, that looked really cool. I like this as a concept. But, like I've said, I'm kind of a size queen when it comes to drag. And this just felt a bit small compared to everybody else. Um, I respect that she's showing her natural body for the most part here. But I would have liked things to be a bit accentuated a little bit more uh, to show shape. Uh, because I got, I got more like cherub body from this than anything. Um, but I don't hate it as a look necessarily. Um, especially because of that face and that hair. I still like it. Just wanted more. Love the hair. Love the bow. Love the performance, but it's her body. That's it. She was another one that was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I don't think she had hers either. Oh. And in that case, I can't be as critical as I normally would be. Because I don't think this is at all what she had prepared. So, with that in mind... I'm not going to be as as harsh, but I did not enjoy this really at all. I think I might have enjoyed this less than Ms. Peaches, honestly. Hmm. But scores. Um, I did not um, like it less than Ms. Peaches. I gave this an 80. Mm -hmm. um, because of the situation. And I know it's not her fault. I'd probably give it a 76. I'm going to give it a 66. We still haven't gotten to one of my bottom three looks. Hmm. Wow. Is it Ariel? It is not. Well, next is Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing uh, the statue of Minerva in Guadalajara. And Ariel received a 15 for this look. I like the back piece. I like all the props to this look. Yes. Like the head piece, the back piece, the staff, the shield. I don't know if I like the dress. But it's not a... I don't hate the dress. But I don't know if I like the dress. There we go. <laughs> well, I like the dress. I actually like pretty much everything about this. Like... I, what I really like is the colorization to the metallic parts. Like it looks like it's really like a worn down monument that's been around forever. Um, I, yeah, I thought she looked stunning, like with exclamation marks, many. The only thing about her is that she could not walk in this. And it was very distracting for me. You could tell she she was looking down. She was getting caught up. She was doing her best. But just I, i'm like did you practice did you practice walking around in this girl because yeah. you were struggling you were struggling i was honestly worried she was gonna fall at some point she did she not did trip. she 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 started to trip a bit but it, it wasn't anything too bad but as a look i really like this i really like it I agree. I love I love the prop pieces. The dress is not the most interesting thing in the world, but it's, you know, it's supposed to be a replica of a statue. So I understand she took a lot more of a literal interpretation to this. And I do enjoy that. Um, it's just if you're if you haven't practiced walking in this, you give them that slow walk that's simultaneously, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to walk in this garment. And also I'm gonna walk slow so y'all can see the garment. Um, and instead she was trying to give a bit of a strut and the walk was good when she wasn't tripping over the dress. Um, but I do, I, the makeup is so good. I also loved, um, Letal throughout the entire, like all she was doing was critiquing makeup. Mm -hmm. And I love that everything felt so individualized to what the judges 
strengths are. I'm like, I really enjoy that because we don't get that on mm -hmm. a lot of um a lot of drag shows like this but we were getting you know we were getting uh makeup critique hair critique finishing detail critique and you can tell that Letal is very very polished in that regard and wants to bring that level of polish to everyone regardless of what their drag style is and i just really respect and appreciate the way that they want to what about their critiques so yeah i I want to add on to that because I think I've become so con conditioned to seeing somebody do well on Drag Race and then we will get selective nitpicking for people that aren't the selected ones, you know, like somebody who, oh, we, we don't want them to get a win. We don't want them to succeed this week. So we're going to extra nitpick, nitpick them. And I was conditioned to that. So I thought that's what we were getting here with Latal, like the first few that I was like, wait, this is really good. And you are really picking them apart. But then I realized, oh, it was consistent. Everybody got some sort of critique. Nobody was perfect. And then I was like, okay, I respect you. I respect you a lot. So I appreciated that. Yeah, most definitely. I love that everybody took what they were, like you said, their strengths and was like, this is what it is. This is what you can do. And not like, this is bad about you. You don't, you, you, that don't look, it was like, this is what it is. This is how you can fix it. And this is how you can make it better. And it was like, oh, that's very refreshing. That's very refreshing instead of just, yeah. instead of, you're bad. You, right, you're bad. You're trash. You're trash. You're trash. You, uh, instead of that, but yeah. It was like, oh girl, you look great. Here's what you need to do to make it even better. Like, right. it was that kind of, ugh, I loved it. And then I did love later that um, her scores were, her, like, her or her most and least were hidden. Mm -hmm. I was like, I do kind of enjoy that. I, I I didn't love it at first, but I was like, no, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like how, but the fact that she was, like, taking the, the had the, her, her tablet and was looking, mm -hmm. like, looking closely at the look yeah. like a picture she's taking so they can look at the makeup and look at the little yeah. things like the hairlines and the and the things like this is what you need to do to fix this and this is how you need to do to fix that and this and to make it better and i was like ah i kind of love that that you are taking the time to individually go through the girls and help them not just tell them they're trash but help them and that's very refreshing Scores. For me, I gave Ariel a 92. Ooh. Very gener more generous than I. Because <laughs> I am going to give this an 85. And way more generous than I, I'll be giving it a 78. <laughs> okay. Next up is Borga, who is who was doing uh, the Biblioteca Palafoxiana in Puebla, which is where um, she's from. And Portugal received a 16 for this. So four star across the board, basically. I like her wig. I I hate the fact that her tights didn't fit properly because they were all wrinkly at the knees. And it just that was very distracting to me. I do like that, like, I feel like she did what De what Demetra should have done and yes. made it look like it's a part of the outfit instead of a bodysuit that you put something to hang over you. You know what I mean? Because they were both doing library. Kind right. Of looks. Right. Uh, yeah. And so I feel like this looks like this is the like the corset it is flowing into this big box type situation yeah. instead of I put on a bodysuit and then I'm gonna put this to hang over me and in front of me. So I kind of like this one a little bit more and just the tights not fitting is a little distracting. But I think I I'm did love that again um Yachty was the one to bring up Maybe they did fit, and now that you're here, they don't fit. Maybe mm -hmm. the stress of the competition was getting to you. Like you I love weight. that that's being I love that that's being acknowledged on episode one. I'm right. like everything about this whole viewing experience was like everything I know is a lie. 
Like I'm, <laughs> I'm so conditioned to drag race at this point where I'm like, oh, they're not going to talk about anything serious and they're not going to acknowledge when real things happen. No, they're acknowledging the things. And I'm so used to really only getting that on like Dragula. So this has been another really refreshing experience. Exactly. But, mm-hmm. Sorry, go ahead, David. No, oh yeah, go ahead, David. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is the other one that I had in my bottom three. Not by a lot. Not by a lot. But I, I guess biblioteca looks are not my thing. Um, I guess not. Maybe. Yeah. She still looks good. Like I'm not mad at it. I just I think I wanted a little bit more. Like even if those feathers had been bigger, I don't know. Maybe that would have worked for me. Even her mm-hmm. makeup could have been a little bit better for me. Um, yeah. There's there's a bunch of things I could nitpick, but. Yeah, it, it just wasn't my favorite. Mm-hmm. I think my issue with this is actually the wig. I don't love mm-hmm. the wig. Yeah, I like I like the um I like the feather leaf situations on the back. I, I will she agree. She was proud did, of those too. She, kept- she was proud of those. She was she was she was showing them off, and I did really, really enjoy it. Um, I will also agree, I did like this more than Demetra's. Um, pretty much everything I was going to say, Lana, you said. <laughs> and then I was going to bring up the tights. Like, that's honestly what it was for me. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't think this is bad. Her mug, I really enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy the way that she she paints. It's just really, is really interesting to me. It's very, it's, it's, Simple is not the right word, but it's like it's more traditional. It's a more traditional face done with these like very angular things that make it a little bit more interesting than just an average pretty, pretty soft face. Mm-hmm. So, of course, for me, this is a seventy-nine. For me, oh, I thought you. I'm lower than I you know. Are. I was like, for me, that's a seventy-five. <laughs> And I'm also going to give it a 75. Uh-oh. I thought you would give it like a 60 something. Like, no. oh. Well, then I don't know. Well, Julie. All. So next is Ankh. Uh. So Ankh is doing, uh, Ankh started, and what we're seeing here is uh, the Catedral, Cat, Catedral Metropolitana de la Ciudad de México. Mm-hmm. And then transformed into the Templo Mayor de Tenochtitlan. Yes. Uh, and scored a 16 for this, despite still being in the bottom because of the surprise challenge. I really like this look. I love the transformation when he when the peer. I, I hate that he stumbled a little bit with the as trying to walk with the with the pyramid didn't lift it up to walk, but. I loved it because I was like, oh, it's a whole pyramid under that dress. I kind of lived for it. It's beautiful. The makeup, ugh. And then the just not the transformation of just the skirt, took the headpiece off, got another headpiece delivered to them, put it on. Had it, had them graffiti it. Graffiti it. Then reveal. Oh. Then had another person come out with the headdress, put on the headdress, and then walked as the the temple. I was like, yes, the performance, absolutely, the performance. I lived. I thought this was so beautiful, and this makeup is stunning. I'm like, my god, I hate. This is the one. I will say this is. I hated that she had to be in the bottom due to the mini challenge. But I was like, because this runway look absolutely not deserve to be a no bottom, no kind of wear. And but, that's why oh. I'm not really excited about this twist because I'm like, I feel like there's going to come a week where the person with the absolute best look ends up in the bottom because they didn't do well in a surprise challenge. I mean, but I feel like now that they know that these surprise challenges are going to cost them, everybody will perform at their highest level. So if you oh, yeah. can't perform real at the mini challenge, don't matter what you do at the main stage if you can't perform. So I'm like, I, I still kind of like the twist. I'm still not opposed to it yet. But I, I, I think ate this up. I was very impressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, this look here, I liked I didn't love it. It did feel 
Like there was a lot going on, a lot to focus on, but really it was the whole performance of it. And then the reveal into the, the pyramid look and then the new headpiece that really won me over. I loved that. I loved it so much. In fact, my score probably would have been even higher if it had just been that from the get go. Well, but I do like the whole reveal, reveal aspect too. So I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I really liked her. I, I, I mean, I am all about like this type of indigenous drag being represented on these shows. Like it's so wonderful. I love seeing culture like this because we don't get a lot of that in the United States. It's, it's pretty straightforward what we see year after year after year. So I'm, I think she's very refreshing for me and I would hate to see her leave early. Um, with that said, yeah, she did stumble a bit and you, I think one of the judges gave good tips about like putting weights in the, in the, mm -hmm. um, garment to make sure that it stays level and, and she, she's not going to trip on it, but mm -hmm. yeah, love this. Love this. The stumbling was really the only thing that I, I had against this whole performance of the look because I loved the graffiti, the reveal, the the pure campness of them bringing out another headpiece. Like I loved all of that. And then she started walking and couldn't walk in the dress very well. And that was the part that I had the issue with. But otherwise, I think it's a really strong performance. I love the makeup here. I think it's I think it's really I think it's really cool. So scores. This is going to be a 90 for me. This is a full for me. Ooh, I'm going to give this an 80. Okay. Oh. Chantel. Chantel is doing the uh, Neptune's Fountain in Monterey uh, and also received a 16. I wasn't that impressed. Oh. I, I wasn't that impressed. I thought it was okay. I like the props more than I like the outfit. I like her hair more than I like her outfit. Everything that accompanies the look, I like more than I like the actual look. Um, her makeup is great, but I wasn't that impressed. I feel like, I think we've been... I think David said it earlier, Chantel, it was fading in this episode. And I felt like this is a reason why this look just wasn't it for me. But apparently the judges thought it was higher than what I probably thought. But it just, it, it didn't do it for me. I wasn't that impressed by it. Um, I think I am impressed by this. But with that said, I was looking through my notes as we were talking earlier because I was like, what did you wear on the main thing? And even reading my notes, I could not remember what her look looked like. And I could remember everybody else's. But like I said, she's just, she has not been the most memorable person for me yet. So I'm hoping that does change. But I do think this is pretty. I really think this is a great, like, gold suit on her. Like, it, it, it looks impressive. It doesn't look cheap. Um, I like the blue as a touch. Her makeup looks great. I wish it inspired more feelings in me. But I do think this is at least middle of the pack. Maybe even high middle. I don't know. It's probably about like, I don't know. Yeah, it's probably right in the middle for me. I really enjoy this, actually. Um, I think the look is definitely a little bit more on the simpler side, but I think knowing that it's supposed to be a fountain, I, I understand, you know, the air to simplicity that she took with this look. The performance of this garment is what sold me for Chantel. I was really, really impressed with the way that all of this aquamarine fabric was moving. Um... Do you think, Lana, it's aquamarine silk charmeuse? I definitely think it's silk charmeuse. I think it could be silk charmeuse. I think it's silk charmeuse. I think there's a universe where... Are you trying charmeuse. to sell me right now, making me look at this silk charmeuse? I might be. I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But no, I thought I thought the way that... The, I'm going to call it aquamarine silk charmeuse. That's just okay. what I'm going to call it. 
Okay. But the, the way this aquamarine silk charmeuse moved just re replicated water for me so well. And the way she was moving and the way she was adjusting her body. Oh, so good. And I, I love I love the way that bodysuit is constructed. I love the wig. Yeah, there's the problem with the lace. But Letal brought it up, so it's fine. I didn't notice. <laughs> I didn't notice until they hyper zoomed. Well, well, now I noticed. Oh, yep. Ooh, now yeah. I can see it. Okay. I see yeah. it. I see it. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, but I love the trident. I think all of this is really good. Her mug, I think, is one of my favorites of this competition because it's just so beautifully done. Ah. I loved it. Of course. It's an 83 for me. This is 72 for me. It's full. I have been really disagreeing with both of y'all tonight. This is strange. <laughs> we love it. I Honestly, yeah. I'll just wait. You all are going to be... Um, uh, wait oh. till you hear some of my scores that I have not given yet. Oh, God. Okay. Well, next up is Catriona. Uh, Catriona is doing uh, the Momento a la Patria in uh, Merida, Yucatan, or Monument to the Fatherland, um, and received a 17 out of 20. I love this look. <laughs> I really did love this look. When she came out, and I realized that the, they were standing behind her with the wall with the same design of the dress. I was like, okay, girl. Okay, girl. And then she started, it fit her like a glove. That headpiece looked beautiful. I love this look. I'm not going to hold y'all. I love this look. Period. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, th this looks really great. Especially when she first came out. I loved the background that was with her. Um, I thought it looked it looked big it looked exciting it looked it looked dirty in a good way like you could see like the browns that like just looking natural dirt that would be on this monument so i like that touch a lot i will say though when she walked away from the back piece then it felt a little small to me and i wanted something to stay kind of big with it um so that was the only thing that slightly lost me but overall, I thought this was a stunning look and definitely one of my favorites of the night. Couldn't agree more. I think the entire performance of this was so cool. Um, I, I, loved, I loved how the background was so complex. And then when you look at just the gown itself, it's so simple, but so intricate and so well done. And it, you can tell that whoever made this, whether it was her or somebody else, put a lot of time, effort, and love into it. And it shows. And it, this, for me, is really, like, where drag doesn't always have to be, you know, jewel everything. Put a rhinestone on everything. Like, this is where drag can just be drag, and it can just be art. And it's, ah. Uh, scores. It's an 89 for me. That's a four for me. That's beautiful. I didn't think I would be pulling this out either in the first episode, but she's mug there. I don't have to get over for that one. No, you don't. It's much Had shorter. a few more R's and then I will. <laughs> it's much shorter. We did that for this reason. <laughs> We've had a cover of people. Uh, for oh, people yeah. that are not familiar, this is like the ultimate score. Yeah. Like there's like nothing that. that can top this score yet. Yet. Um blech. Yeah. It's like she if is. I was giving it a 200, honestly. She ate. She ate. Just ugh. She ate. Yes. Oh, I love it. Ah. Oh. Baby. Ah. Baby. Ah. Put it back up there. Put it I'm back up there for it. me. Next is Aries. Baby, so, stop. Oh, dead. Dead, 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 dead. Ba baby, would you I like to know what it's supposed to be, Lana? 
Sure, go ahead. Because <laughs> that's all I was gonna say before I was gonna go let ahead. you say that. Um, so Aries is doing the Guerrero Jimali in Chimalquan, Chimalhuacan. Again, pronunciation. Sorry, uh, I'm received an 18 out of 20 for this look. I don't know why this didn't get a perfect 20, baby. Because what, what, what is this? What is this? I'm taking down the banner so we could just see the whole thing. All I know is when she walked out, she was the first and only person I literally screamed for. When she walked out, I was like, oh, oh, oh. And, oh. She, and she walked pretty early on, too. Yeah. I think she was like third or fourth. And I was like, she was third. oh, so I was like, oh, so this is what we're getting on Lamas. I was stunned. I was stunned. I was like, I ain't never seen nothing like this ever. Ever. And my drag race journey has just begun, so I don't know if it's been things like this, but I ain't never seen it. This is sickening and stupid and great and funky and everything. This is everything. This gives me so much joy and life. Oh, I I'm, I'm done done here. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. Go ahead, I'm go ahead. done here. Uh, so good. David, go ahead. Because I can't. Yeah. So you all hear me say that I'm a size queen when it comes to drag. The bigger, yeah, the know. better. Yep, and yep. this is what I want. Like, this is insane. This is insanity. I've never seen anything like this. There were things that were nitpicking, like, oh, you could have put more stones. Well, who cares? Who cares what? about that? Uh, uh, like, even like she could, she didn't have to put that much attention to her face and the little cheek pieces sticking out. She didn't have to worry about all that, but she still did. Like, th and how she walked in this, like anybody else that's walked in a headpiece this big, you see them be so stiff. And she was not that at all. She was. Look holding it too like you will see people walking holding it right right mm -hmm. she did and the it. Fact I don't that they know. had the gall to be like so one of them had the gall to be like well maybe you should put lights in the hat to cheapen it i mean you couldn't see her face as well you can see it better i here. don't care <laughs> It, it, you don't when you see I this don't one, care. One, I don't need to see her face. Fair. That's like one of those. She is, I'm gonna assume she is the monument. I like, don't you know, care. or they should have just moved some lights down so you could see her better. Period. Maybe you exactly. all should do it. That's your job, production. Like, what is oh. This? oh, oh, yeah, she is the monument. She is the mon. She is the monument. She is the monument. The uh, standard she is setting is insane. It's insane. Oh. Babe, it's sickening. Yeah. Oh. Uh. And I was wrong. Earlier I said that I told you all that uh, my top three looks were the top three. That's not the case because she's in my top three for sure. Oh, she is definitely uh. in my top three. She's my top. She is my favorite look of the night. Mm, okay. She is my favorite look of the night. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Well, she was, okay. If we're talking purely on the score from the runway, she was in the top three. True. So, and if we're talking overall, unfortunately she wasn't. But she was top three of the runway. So, mm -hmm. just... <sighs> yes. Yes. Ah! Yeah. God, ah! Of course, David. I bumped it up one point from where I had it. And now I will say my cup is full. Oh! Ah! It's full. Oh, this is I, very, very rare. Oh, I ain't never got a full cup from David. This is the second time. Oh, second time. Second it's time it's happened a few cup. times. No, time. no, this but. is number two. I am keeping track. I think this is the second time I've heard you say a full cup. And this would also be, I've only, I have I know what the other look is. Me too. Oh, I can name three other ones. 
two Kahana looks and one uh, Paquita look. You ever seen? Oh, Ooh, except the Kahana look. Like we'll, we'll go back later. I remember the Kahana look. That's me too. The Kahana look. Let's go back. Uh, uh, but the finale could not Kahana look. That was, mm-hmm. yeah, that was, I knew that one. The, he, baby yeah. drowning, mugged up, uh, all of that. Duh. Babe, she ate down. Can I make another category above Muggler that's just, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is stupid, it's and so I mean that in the most the best way. way. It's so just good as oh, stupid. It's so good. respect. It's so good as stupid. Oh, oh it. Oh, uh, yep. I'm there with stupid. You. Get it off my screen. I can't look at it no more. Oh. Well, we now have to move to Electra Valkorkis, um, oh. who. <laughs> Just ever so slightly, ever so slightly dipped down. Um, so Electra started as the monument to Christopher Columbus in um, Ciudad de Mexico um, and ended as the uh, Monumento a los Indios Verdes or the Green Indians. Um, also in Mexico City is, is what the reveal was too. Um, her score ended up being a 19. It was a 16 for the runway specifically, and then three extra stars for winning the surprise challenge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Is that it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when she came out in this first look, I couldn't tell exactly what it was. I was like, is this a nun? What is, what's going on here? But I actually thought that was her in a costume. I did not realize she was holding it in front of her. And then that green arm came out mm-hmm. and started slicing that throat, and that mm-hmm. blood started pouring out. Well, and not really you, pouring, but... Well, and then you see this insane monster peek around the corner with such devious insanity in the face yeah and the performance behind it i lost my mind you two don't seem to like it but i was living for this more than anything more than anything like this was incredible for me i thought she looked great and i thought the delivery was incredible and they were talking about, oh, you could put other kinds of greens. I saw every kind of green on this. There were so many There's different two. types of green on there. Two. No, there is not. There is not. There's Look two. at it again, close up. There are I so have. many different shades of green. And they showed it close up. And um, I'm like, I see so many different colors of green. So um, I was I was obsessed with this. This was the moment for me. I love the performance. Agreed. Okay. I'm not a whole fan of the look. That's where I'm at. Agreed. Okay. Um, I love you know, you know, we're going against Christopher Columbus. Absolutely, absolutely, a hundred percent. And honestly, and honestly, now that I know it's supposed to be the monument to Christopher Columbus, my score is going to be a little bit higher now um, than it was going to be otherwise. Um, the performance of this, my second favorite performance of a look this evening. Just kiss. This was my second. My third favorite performance was Alexis. And my first favorite performance, we haven't gotten to yet. Um, but I loved the performance of this. The garment, I wasn't the most wowed by. And I'm looking at the reference right now. And it, it is pretty spot on to the reference itself. Um, but I wish it was just... In the way that Catriona's was simple, but so effective, but stuck to what the monument was, I felt like there was a level of that that I needed from this look that would have taken it to, oh my God, this is one of the best things I've ever seen. And I didn't get that, but what I got was very good. And I enjoyed it. And I Mm -hmm. like her drag. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to see more. And I know she's House of Black and White, so I'm just very excited for what she's going to bring. Um, but this didn't completely knock my socks off. That's all. 
but I did enjoy it. I enjoyed the performance of it. For sure. So, scores. Okay, I got my cup again, but my cup is not full. Oh. My cup is overflowing. Holy. This God. is my single favorite thing I've seen on drag television this year. I love it. I was losing my mind. I think I just had a heart attack. <laughs> And I love that that comes at a disagreement with both Lana and I, where of we're course. also not gonna, <laughs> we're no. not gonna match that at all. No, I'm going to actually give this a, a 77. <laughs> My, I cannot believe this. I cannot well, believe this. See, this is how it's we just, feel it, when you score I just something love low, weird and stuff. we're just I like, I love weird stuff. Yeah. Now you're experiencing how we feel at you. Yes, we were like, this is so great. And you'd be like, I didn't like it. I'm giving it a 50. And we'd be like, Literally. What? I'm losing my mind with you. <laughs> I'm very happy that you love this. And I'm very happy that's the first overflowing. Yeah, that is. I know that to be flowing. certain. Um, I something tells me it's not going to be the last overflowing cup you have watching La Mas this season. <laughs> I'm just going to say that now, and I, I just I don't think it's going to be the last. Um, like I said, my score is going to be higher than it was going to be. Um, my score is going to be a 92 <clears throat> because anything defacing the memory or replica of Christopher mm -hmm. Columbus is good in my book. <laughs> ah. Juana Guadalupe. Bitch. 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 Oh. So she's doing the Glorieta de los Caballos in Guadalajara. Um, and her score was a 19 out of 20. I'm going to just say this. When it first came out of runway, I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure what it was. And so my score was kind of watching it. It was kind of low because I was like, I don't get it. I don't know what it is. Da, da, da. And I really didn't like it. Then I started putting together this slideshow and I saw this picture and I was like, shut the front door. That's what that was. Oh, girl, girl. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Because it just didn't trans. Something didn't click in my head or whatever when I was watching it. It didn't click for me. But then I saw this picture and I was like, oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to have to retrain all of that, what I thought this was. this, And then to find out she made this hurt. So I was like, girl, stop. Bye. Get out, get out of here. Get, get Get out of here. Like, oh. <laughs> you get out of here. Just, oh, I can't stun it. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I just, I can't believe how many things in one episode just sh like showed me stuff I do not see. I do not see stuff like this. We're so sorry we didn't watch this show sooner. Oh, no, I am. Honestly. And the delivery of this was just incredible. Like, she looks so good. Like, this looks like it was so expensive. But she didn't even have to pay a designer for it. So good for you, girl. Good for you. You did have to pay for the material. And I'm sure it still was expensive. But wow, I was so impressed. If I'm going to nitpick anything, I don't like the legs and waist part. Like, I wish there was something more there because it's a little simple compared to extravagance, pure extravagance in the top part. And I do like the boots, too. So it's just that, like, little middle part there that I don't love. But everything else was so, so, so spot on in perfection. And I thought she was I thought she was a strong candidate to win the night. I knew it was between the top two. I wasn't sure which one, uh, but I love this. I absolutely agree with what you said, David. I think the, the bottom half leaves something to be desired, but for me, that it doesn't really take away from, from the look at all, because all I'm really focusing on, and all really that the cinematography of the performance showed off was this top half. Um, mm -hmm. And when we saw her in the, um, the NYX studio with this makeup, I was like, what is this look going to be? <laughs> and then she comes out as this and it's oh it's just so good it's just so good it was, 
the bottom half leaves something to be desired. I don't like the boot, but uh, I don't even care. Yeah. I don't care. The bottom half is what threw me too. Not even go lie when I yeah. was watching. That's why I was like, eh, man. Nah, nah. Then I saw the picture and I was like, I don't even care about this bottom half. I don't care at all. No. She could have not had nothing on the bottom and I still would have been like, ah, because it's that good. But okay. Scores? This is a 99 for me. Yep. It's the middle part, but it's a 99 for me as well because it's so close to perfection. Mm hmm. I am still going to say it's full. Fair. Cool. And last Jesus. up. Kelly Caracas. She gave us a her, her, she gave us a promo looking gold, y'all. She gave me her promo looking gold, and you know how I feel about her promo look in red. <laughs> but these wings are bigger and better. Uh, I'm sorry. You, what is what is what is her reference, Logan? What? The reference. You always give the reference first. What is she referencing here? What's the monument? Oh What's the my monument? God. <laughs> my God! You just, started, you just started gushing about her, and I was like. Okay, I'll just talk about it later. I'm so sorry. Um, she is the Angel de la Independencia uh, in Ciudad de Mexico, the Angel of Independence statue. Um, she got a perfect score of 20 for this, yeah, as she rightly should. Good, sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, he was, was gone. Like, like, no, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Like, I'm just so captivated by this. Uh, by the, it's the boobies. Honestly, it's the boobs. I, boobs. She's stunning. Everything. Her face, stunning. This outfit, stunning. The wings, stunning. Like, ugh, I can't. Ugh, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, for me, this was already like absolutely beautiful when she came out like this was another one where my mouth just dropped as soon as she came out because she looked so good but then she like punched us in the gut with her message too she pulls out that blood and just smears it all down her face and chest and gives us what the message is really about with this look talking about trans women uh being murdered and the stats for that and she even took she was the only one i believe that took the microphone mm -hmm. and actually spoke like during the performance during the performance yeah so, yeah. yeah so like i would just everything about it just like was a complete one two punch okay. one for the look two for the message she knocked me out it was stunning and perfection mm -hmm. ah <laughs> yes ah Oh well. God! Ah, uh, I just ah, uh, <laughs> I dream that I was doing what she, what uh, at twenty three. What she's doing at twenty three. She's twenty three. Ah, uh, I'm angry. I want to be that talented. <laughs> ah. Ah. Scores. Oh, mm -mm. My cup is full. Full, full, Good. full. Good. My cup is so heavy. It's overflowing. I can't. I, uh, 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 I'm spilling it all over myself. It's so dang overflowing. Ugh. This is stupid. Why are we why are we even talking about her level of perfection and beauty? We don't deserve to talk about this. Ugh. Ugh. Stunning. God. Ugh. 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 God. Ugh. Ugh. 
just and I'm not this generous with perfect no, scores. No, I gave out I three say, perfect I scores never, on 199. I've never seen David never this seen generous David. with nope. scoring. But when this this good, you can't it's, help but give them their flowers. Yeah, uh, we're gonna watch the rest of this franchise soon. Don't y'all worry. Uh, we're watching the whole damn thing. Eventually, we'll get through it. <laughs> Uh, take a few uh, years. <laughs> no, we're gonna I was going to say, I feel like we could probably reasonably cover all five seasons in a year. Maybe a year and a half. But Regardless. not starting right now. Like, further down the line. But, uh, yeah. Do, down the line. I do want to watch season one. But, um, yeah, to nobody's surprise, the winner is Kelly. Duh. 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 And we we get a bottom two, we get the bottom two announced originally as Ms. Peaches and um Demetra. Mm-hmm. Um and then we find out because of the new twist with the surprise challenge, uh Demetra is called as safe, and our actual bottom two in this situation is Ankh and Miss Peaches. But it doesn't matter because the guest judge saves everyone. Yeah. Knowing now that she's also a guest judge, I'm like, okay. She's like, stop everything. So dramatic. I can't bear to see either of them go home. And I mean, I'm fine with that. Probably because she wanted Alexis to go home. (laughs) Probably. Alexis or uh, Braulio. Oh, Braulio. Because she didn't get her way. Nobody goes home. I'm fine with it, though. You're sure, fine. Great. I'm not mad at it. I don't want nobody to go home because that gives us another chance to see great. some more great myths. Exactly. Yes, I always say I want to see Perfect. everybody for at least two episodes. So yep. we're going to get that. Um, I wonder if this is normal. Is like if they usually have non-eliminations or if. I don't know. I don't Let know. Us know and in the I'm comments. not going to yeah. look it up, David. <laughs> no, y'all tell us in the comments if this is normal. It's not spoiling anything. Yeah, without spoiling it. Because we're going to go back, so don't spoil any previous episodes. Thank you. And yes. if you stuck around with us all this time, I'm sure you uh, you like us enough not to spoil stuff for us. Thank you. Please. Thank exactly. you. Thank but you. I am very glad nobody goes home. We get another yeah. chance, another week, another episode to watch all of these girls do what they do and give us another amazing show. I am sure. I can't wait till Tuesday. I mean, what well, Thursday? When they come out? Tuesdays. Uh, come tomorrow, out Tuesday. at the time we tomorrow. are filming this. Today, so at the time you're seeing it. So right. we are working on when exactly we're going to be filming our future recaps for this. It's not going to be nearly this late in the week. No. So we are going to try to talk about them a little bit sooner to when they come out. Um. So to know exactly when our episodes are going to drop, please make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, follow us on Twitter. We'll have a schedule update sometime this week uh, talking about that. Um, We do want to do something really fun. It has been almost three hours, but I do very quickly want to draft because we we obviously haven't done a draft for this um, because this is our first time talking about it. So we are going to draft teams for this season. Because there are 14 uh, contestants and three of us, we are going to allow one person to be drafted twice, um, just so each one of us has five picks uh, in the draft. Um, So I made a wheel. Oh. I hope I'm third. (laughs) Why? Because I want to get two Two of my top ones. Well, maybe Lana and I will both take your top one. Who knows? Well, one okay. and two. That's okay. So we each you know have two, like we each have we each have two wedges just to make it a little bit more fair. Okay. Um. So, are you ready? Ready. This is not going to go good for me because wheels hate me. So I just want y'all to know that I'm more of a randomized random girl because t- typical, typical. I mean, I'm first. Like, yeah. <laughs> typical. I knew it was well, Lana, the world does not like black women, so you're gonna get the next pick. 
Well, the Lana space is purple, so and it's still not gonna be Lana. I told you. Damn it. I told <laughs> oh no, you. no. <laughs> Anybody wanna like trade? I am, no. Nope, I'm the wheel decided. No. I, so, I am a case in there. random org dot girl. That's who I am. Okay. David. What is your first okay. pick? Okay. With my first pick. I'm going to pick Kelly. Oh, of course you will. You, you do. That's very rude for you to take the trans woman from the woman on the panel. <laughs> She's still available. She's not for sure. long. I know it's not. I am also taking Kelly. Of course. You will. That is very. This is very. Okay. I want. I want to point out that I have never been in a scenario where I could also pick someone as well as someone else has. That's true. true. That has never happened for me. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna no, celebrate. No. All right, Lana. You celebrate. Your two picks. I am picking Aries. Absolutely yep. picking Aries. And. I am picking Juana. Those were literally the people I was going to pick if I was third. Because I knew <laughs> Kelly would be gone. <laughs> um, I am going to pick Catriona. Mm. Mm. Okay. Then I am going to pick I'm sorry. I got to do it. I got to do it. I'm going to pick Electra. Dang it. That was. Okay. And? And I'm going to pick Ariel. Damn it. Okay. Um. I'm going to take a huge risk here. I'm going to take Miss Peaches. I was thinking about that. I I I I have faith in in what I saw. So I'm gonna pick Miss Peaches. Okay. I am going to take Brulio. I feel something that I, I just want. And and would you like to know who's left? I, 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 I've been keeping up. I'm oh. about to say all I'm going to actually take Ankh. I'm going to take Chantel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your last two picks, David. I know. Um, hmm. Okay. Let me pick. I'm going to go out on a limb and pick Alexis. Okay. And then with my final pick, hmm, I'm going to pick Perga. I'm going to pick La Kylie's, which means Lana will get Dimitra. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm already in last place with this trend. <laughs> How would Kelly? Oh, I forgot I had Kelly. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't say. think with Kelly. So, as a reminder, we have Team Lana, which is Aries, Juana Guadalupe, Braulio, Ankh, and Demetra. Okay. Uh, Team David is Kelly Caracas, uh, Electra Valpurgis, Ariel, uh, Alexis Mugler, and Burga. And Team Logan is Kelly Caracas, Catriona, Miss Peaches, Chantel, and La Kylie. Okay. I'm What's excited. the draft update? <laughs> just, kidding. just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> we you just are drafted. really trying to make me hate you in this episode. <laughs> the, wow, the, the, the draft update is we just drafted. 
The that draft is. update is figure it out yourself, David. Okay. Oh, you're Put so up the rude. scores. I'll figure it out. You all are so rude for <laughs> no reason at all, just to be rude to each other. Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. Cool. <sighs> Heathays. They're just so annoying. <laughs> I, 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 I put all of you together. All of yeah. you Heathays. She meant he. All of the he, ones. They, 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 they. No, he, David, they, okay, you. Right. Whatever. I got what you meant. See. Thank you so much for joining us for our, our first ever coverage of La Mastraga. Uh, truly thrilled. Cannot wait for the rest of the season. Um, so we are here. We are covering all things drag here on this channel. So we are covering La Mastraga. And obviously we are covering all of Drag Race that is currently happening as well. So uh, if you want to check out our Drag Race coverage, we did cover Drag Race Mexico. Um, if you haven't seen that coverage already, go watch that. We're covering all of the other franchises. Go watch that too. Um, and hit all of the buttons on your preferred audio or visual platform that say you support us because we ha love having your support and we love you. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at the Cup Pod for all of the most up-to-date cup news and our funny moments because we are some funny bitches. And while y'all are at it, down in the description, you could get your cup merch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You could follow the three of us. You could go subscribe to our second channel where we talk all things reality that have nothing to do with drag. Well, I can't say that anymore. Some will. Because we are about to cover a show that is not drag focused that does feature drag. Mm -hmm. So mostly all does not feature drag. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Adios. 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 Bye. Bye. Bye.